All right. Should be live. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to an unlocked edition of Resident Evil 2 one shot demo. The last time I'm going to play this fucking thing. <laughs> so, uh. Basically, we have the trainer running. And. We're going to see what happens, I guess. Um. It's worth a shot, right? Um, ideally, we want to uh, see what we can do. I, I don't have the uh, the certain items and stuff like that. Uh, I think there's a way you can get the little clippers from RE7 and kind of bring it over there, um, which that's that in and of itself is pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, but hopefully we can uh, run this without uh, any issues um you know a lot of this stuff really relies on just how well we can kind of make use of it my pc isn't the uh the greatest uh in the world uh but it's uh it's still good what's going on universal jazz on the youtube we're getting some viewers in here it's fine i'm gonna just uh chill for a little bit just because we're gonna um also wait for john to get in here we can kind of start whenever because we have an unlimited time on the pc we are on pc right now uh so yeah it works out that way and uh i am on a cam so uh i don't think the placement should be bad for this demo um if i need to adjust anything i, I i'm sure i will but uh Make myself a little bit bigger. That's fine. All right, cool. Sorry, but Game of the Year for 2018 is Mortal Kombat 11. That game, oh my god, stole the show. Last night's reveal. Gotta check it out. I haven't seen it yet. But I think the um, the overall like vibe of this year is going to be very interesting. It's going to be very interesting indeed. I think there's going to be a different kind of like uh, dynamic with how people want... Uh, you know, their games now, because certain games are going to be, you know, there's going to be certain hype lived up to that. Um, so, you know, hopefully, you know, that that's going to be something that's going to be played out in, you know, with Sony's absence this year with E3, who knows what's really going to happen, you know, going forward. But um, what's going on, Mark's Reviews and Juan, the MVPs of the chat, the people that are always here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, um, Hanging out real quick. Uh, just putting out my links and stuff like that. Um, I am live on Twitch too, so... We do have a Twitch on top of everything. Because you gotta... You gotta be able to stream... On both. Both platforms. Um, so I'm gonna share this. Twitter... Put that we are live. All right, so we have that all situated. All right, so basically, uh, I don't know if you guys have looked at any of the unlocked like stuff that you can do with this, but uh, you know we'll get right into it. And so. The good thing with the PC is that it's cracked, so you don't have to worry about anything, really. And the best part about it is you can take your time and look at stuff, uh, which is something that you don't always get when you're, you know, playing these one-shot demos and you're constantly making accounts and you're trying to, you know, play it <laughs> because you, you feel rushed, you know. Um, it's just... It's, it's going to happen, but, you know, the fact that we were able to kind of get our hands on it and just didn't spoil anything, you know, it was like just enough to what you would expect normally from, uh, you know, something like this. Yeah, man, the game, it's, it's almost here. It is almost here. And hopefully this runs okay on the PC. Um... You know, it's going to look the way it looks. Hello? Uh, is anybody here? This thing isn't, you know, it's not going to be the best. 
Okay, so also let me... Let me, uh... What's going on, guys? Welcome. Juan says... Oh, what's going on? Chris live. Azure Eyes. Lance Lewis. <laughs> what's going on, guys? Yeah, definitely, man. It's it's right here. Juan says, do you know streamer Nemesis? He thinks RE2 Remake will incorporate some fixed camera angles as well with the RE4 gameplay. Uh, no, I don't know who that is, but I, I, um, I wouldn't doubt it. I, I wouldn't put that past any, you know, their judgment from ha incorporating something, you know, new into it. Um, you know, so hopefully it gets back in that way. Uh, let me grab my phone and we're going to get uh, John in here real quick. And, uh, okay. When John's ready... Um, I think, I think he's in here this is what I'm scanning to see if, okay. So <clears throat> Mark says, yeah, my first play through the demo, I spent too much time wandering around taking in sites, looking for Easter eggs. Yeah. It's like, that's how, you know, we're going to react to it. You know, it, it's just. It's a given. It's a given. We've been waiting long enough and we wanted to, to kind of get our hands on it. So. Right. Seems to be running, running fine. Um, I'm just seeing how it, how it runs on stream. Absolutely. Thank you for coming by, man. Um, yeah, we're just kind of messing around. As I see, we do have infinite ammo. And then we also have fast speed. Which... Activated. Look how fast I can do this. Talk about actually speedrunning this. It's like you could just go through the whole thing like this. It's pretty nutty. And <laughs> that's why you want to play it on PC. So obviously, all you have to do is just not get out, get to a certain point. Um, deactivated. Deactivated. Um, I'll probably turn that off because that's going to get annoying. It's deactivated. I noticed you guys on Spotify love your podcast. Yeah, man. A lot of people have been coming over from the Spotify stuff. I appreciate that. I mean, Spotify is just another, you know, great way for us to get our, you know, get out there to more fans. And uh, it's always good, man. I, I, I like hearing that stuff all the time. A lot of people come from Spotify. It's, it's no joke. And uh, as soon as uh, Lipson had the, uh, Lipson had the, uh, the chance for it. I mean, I was, I jumped at it. I jumped at it immediately. What's the true canon plot line? You mean for Resident Evil? It would be Claire B, Leon A, in original, but I mean, obviously now this is something entirely different. Jake boy, what's going on, man? Shout out to Jake boy, one of the uh, one of the diehards right there. He's helped make a lot of these shows possible. Hey, what's up, bud? Does this remind you of RE7 at all? It does. It does. It does have that um, that vibe. I definitely feel that for sure. That you know, that's that's for uh, that's for it kind of having that engine and having that you know. The different looks of uh, of of the environment definitely feel like seven. The RE engine is you know it's taking it up a notch. So, um, 
and that's included with, you know, pretty much everything. Chris Day, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Enjoy your podcast. Should do more. Hey, man, we've been doing it for five years, and there's plenty of more where that came from, let me tell you. Oh, come on, Juan. Let people like stuff. Jake Boy's allowed to like seven. People are allowed to like seven. And we can't wish it away. It's part of the series. Wish Claire was wearing them shorts. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, you'll will you'll get the you'll get the costume. You'll unlock it. I don't think it's going to fall apart. This shouldn't fall apart. This should be consistent. I mean, just look at these like environments, you know? Like this this right here is a is a representation of what Seven didn't have for me, personally. I think that's the main thing that you're going to jump into right here is that it's it's like you notice that right away. And, um, sorry, I'm just kind of waiting for, uh, for John to be ready. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, man, I mean, it's, I mean, look at this. Like, this is just brutal. And look at this. You can just, like, shoot away their body like it's nobody's fucking business. Like, you'd see underneath their flesh, like, that's gruesome. You know, that's brutal. That's... Oh, you didn't care for Seven? Hey, man. Not a, lot, not a lot of people care for Seven after the fact. Yeah, like, I agree. Like, the molded was a little lame, and, you know, it's like... It's just kind of like you... you... <laughs> You didn't really make me feel for the Bakers. At least, like, when you go into here where it's like, okay, well, you know, it's Leon and Claire. We already have a history of how we like those characters. And, you know, that, I think that's a that's a main thing that, that people look for, you know? I like how this zombie wakes up no matter what. You can shoot him as many times as you want, and it's because he's triggered for this scene. But we gotta, uh, we gotta save this guy for like the nine millionth time. I'll get you out. My, my PC is like a, it runs games kind of like a base PS4, basically. Officer Notebook. That's the best part. It's the headshots. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't just hold the door and also he turns him around. Like, while he's doing that. It's like, dude, why are you doing that? I think I have a thing where they won't attack me. Damn it! Damn it! Yeah, I, uh, my first impressions were just this, I think this is Game of the Year material. 
Hundred percent. It it blew me away. Jesus, they're everywhere. <laughs> Look at that. They're just running all around. Now that now this is comedy. Yeah, they do cuss now. They do. Cyberpunk will take it away from Remake? I don't know. <laughs> they just run around. It's so good. They'll run around me, but they just won't ever attack. These poor bastards. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this thing. Alright. <laughs> Hack is too fast for game. Okay. This thing is already out. Um, the people have been playing it, so I've been trying to like avoid spoilers as much as possible. Um... Just because, like, you know, you, you don't you don't want to run into that problem. All right, is uh, I hope the cells like a hardcore porno at a boot camp so we get a remake of nemesis absolutely yeah that's that's like a given just needs to needs to do what it has to do which is sell and uh make capcom a lot of money Doesn't let you shoot him. Doesn't let you aim at him. I could already, you know, see some of this stuff in that in that regard where, you know, it's already has hints of three around. But you know, you gotta do it right. And the fact that you can even have See the blood footprints? That's crazy. You think they'll remake RE1? I don't know, man. I I just I don't know if they will, but I just think that you know remake is is the best on its own. This game's gonna have to try hard, and it's going to try hard. But Resident Evil Remake is the best. It's the one of the best, 
this game has to top it. And if it doesn't, it might not. It's a hard game to top. Remake, the way Remake is, I don't know. But I know that this is going to be a, a contender for sure. They're actually talking about it. Well, if it's, uh, it's a valuable source of income, I'm sure they're going to do it. I'm sure they're going to do whatever it takes. Hmm. Yeah, 2030 is when 4 comes out. Scurry. You can also completely avoid uh, him falling, too. If you just walk past them. So, you know, basically what it kind of forces you to do is, you know, fortifying the police station because of how many zombies can constantly keep coming in. And I think that's a brilliant fucking idea because, I mean, that's what would happen. In Resident Evil 2, you know, originally, it's just like, uh, you know, the zombies are just in there, but the fact that this is going in like a week strong and it's like, okay, like damage has been done. Like, you know, there's stuff that is going on. That's like it like police stations are not actually safe. And if you read the zombie survival guide by Max Brooks, you'll know why. And poor Leon has no choice. Yeah, I haven't seen Ben. Ben's going to be around, I assure you. I love that you can just shoot the limbs. It's great. Like, her, like, if you just keep shooting their legs, like, that's crazy. Because sometimes just shooting them in the head, like, takes longer. So, you know, it's, it's almost like a dead space thing where it's like, you got to shoot their fucking, like, limbs. Like, look how disgusting that looks, but it's, like, just fucking awesome. <laughs> that, that, this is the reason why I'm happy they brought the gore back. I, I think, like, there was, like, a weird, like, sensor thing that happened, I think, like, five and six and, uh, even, like, seven. I mean, like, I, I don't know, man. I mean, that like, they they're, they were doing these things where they weren't showing much, like, pulling apart and, you know, limbs coming off and all this stuff. Um. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Dead Space. Long live Dead Space. And they got the map. So a lot of the, obviously, the map and everything kind of is, you know, very similar to what we're used to. If you somewhat know or remember the layout of the police station, it hasn't really changed. So thank you. Abstract on Twitch. Thank you. Hey, I'm here. All right, cool. I was like, I hope he joins, like, the right room. All right, so we're good now. <laughs> I was going to say, now I'm the only one here. All right, I'm going to talk real quick. Hello. Okay, so you should be leveled, uh, but make sure, like, play it back and, like, let me know if you're leveled because I don't want to not level it and it's messed up the whole time. We got John here from Item Box joining me. As you know, he's hasn't been on a stream in a little bit, but he's back. Welcome back. He's not in the same room. 
right now. But he will be when we stream it in like six days, five days. Six days, right? Seven days? Eight days? How many days are we away from Resident Evil? We are one day, two day, three day, four day, five day, six day. Six days for us. Six days, okay. Six days. Did I ever play Alone in the Dark? Uh, yes. I've played... Um, I haven't played the original, uh, but I've rented the PlayStation version back in the day, and I, it's a good game. I think the Dreamcast one might be better, like, graphic-wise, um, and how it plays, but I guess we'll see. Maybe this will reveal Ada worked for Wesker. Mm, well, we'll see what it changes of the story. How how the hell does John look? Where's his face? Well, he's not here right now, but we'll probably be on a face cam eventually. Oh, yeah, that'll do great. I don't, we're probably not going to do face cam for RE2, um, just because we'll probably just look like absolute shit for staying up for like 24 hours, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, we'll, we'll streamline it in some way. We'll figure it out. Or yeah, I was going to say, did you tell them that we're doing a 24-7 stream? Yeah, so uh, I've pretty much dropped it on the last stream. and uh, But for anybody who doesn't know that's watching right now, the 25 of you that are hanging out with us tonight. Um, yeah, we are going to be doing a 24-hour stream of Resident Evil 2. Um, both scenarios, back-to-back, -back, me and John playing on, you know, the day it comes out. Now... So, you know, some people have mentioned in the past when I've streamed it and I've mentioned us covering Resident Evil 2 and a lot of people were saying, you know, why don't you, you know, wait until other people have played it because, you know, certain people might not want to watch it. They're going to play it for themselves. Well, we're pretty much doing it for the sake of celebration. We're going to be kind of documenting our, you know, first reactions and um, the struggle that we may or may not have with certain parts of the game. And, um, you know, that's, that's kind of like an important thing because... You know, it's a it's a big moment. Like this year is a big year for gaming and for what we're doing creatively. So, you know, covering the game will also, you know, push the envelope in that way. Yeah, not to mention like, if you don't want spoilers, don't watch it. Yeah, if you don't want spoilers, like, because there obviously it's going to be spoilers. Um, you know, they they're already the game is out. People are playing it. There's result screens online for the final game. Like pe that's playing it. So I'm trying to avoid spoilers. Um, and obviously when we're playing it, I'm gonna put in the description avoid spoilers because we're not gonna just be playing the demo for you know all the time. It's like the demo is just gonna take its course this week and then it's over. So this is probably gonna be the last time I'm gonna feature or talk about the demo on my channel uh, until we cover ac the actual game. So. Look at this guy. I basically have it on so they just don't attack me. They just run in circles. But I can still really? I can still shoot them to, to bits. So, Riot and respect. What's going on? Haven't seen you in forever. Uh, and Kyle uh, and Kyle, why would he bite me? What's going on, man? It's good to see people I haven't seen in a little bit in the chat. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Speaking of Riot and respect. I was just watching our For Honor stream again. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Work. Yeah, I was showing people when I messed that dude up real bad and turned him around. And uh, I have it. It's still uploaded. It's just on private. But that's stuff you have to keep because that was just great. Oh, it was so good. I hope he remembers that. Love how much of a mess this thing looks. It just it's so it's great. John Jerome, what's going on? Shout out to uh, JJ, John Jerome. He edits our Let's Talk Resident Evil shows. The audio. Thanks for coming by. 
that fat zombie really wanted his crimpets. Jojo. Jojo's locker is still here. Yes, it is. For Jojo's bizarre adventure. You know that's what it's from, right? Oh, yeah. That's funny that they, like, you know, the like... Again, even though they kind of changed like positioning of that, it's it's kind of fun. I, I like that they still throw it in there some way. I know you're alive, you ass. I just love that you can shoot off their limbs. Like, it's so. <laughs> Look at that. That's fucking ridiculous. It's, gr it's great. Yeah. Too bad they ruined that game. Yeah, for honor, kind of no, no, didn't didn't last didn't last very long. Lance said next week I'm going to be 11 years old all over again. Yeah, I mean it's 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 pretty much going to be that wistful nostalgic feeling. And uh, John actually got a uh, speaking of nostalgia, there there is a PlayStation magazine that that ha that does exist that I put up on the. The Facebook page, uh, the whole scan. So if you guys go on the Let's Talk Facebook page, um, but uh, you know, it's a, like an exclusive UK edition, and it goes for some money. And we found it at Barnes and Noble, and I gave John. I picked up three copies. I gave John one, and uh, it comes with like a sweatband and a like an arm sweatband and a, uh, a sew on badge, which is fucking awesome. And uh, yeah, man. I mean, that's like. That's nostalgic right there because Resident Evil 2 was on so many, you know, video game magazines at that time. Uh, it was like Electronic Game and Monthly and PlayStation official PlayStation magazine and uh, PSN and phew, so many. My dad was subscribed to so many fucking magazines. We got so many gaming stuff still to this day. Easter egg will include JoJo's music tracks as well. Can't wait to discover. Interesting. Yeah, I, I know for a fact I've been talking to some people on Twitter about the uh, the platinum trophy, and yeah, I am going to be going for that. Um, I actually might just like you know stream my uh, my road to be to getting a platinum. You know. Yeah. John Jerome said, I picked the magazine up today. I spent too much money on the game, but worth it. Shaking my head. I know. I know. I was literally just talking to John about this. Today. I was like, we're just going to spend more and more money. Like, they already have our money. It's just one of those things where it, it's an event. So, we got our collector's editions coming in. And in fact... We're going to, you know, I'm going to be recording that collection update. If we get it Friday, that's going to be posted that day. I'm going to take like maybe like a half hour, hour break just recording it. And then I'm posting it if it shows up. And we'll know if it shows up too. Um, I don't know. I I don't think we have to sign for it. But, you know, hopefully if, uh, if it comes USPS, that means by the time we probably have beaten Resident Evil 2, by the time we run through it, me and John, not maybe not both scenarios. By the time we run through it, the collector's edition should be at our doorstep. Uh, so in that case, if it's there around like 10 a.m., which is when my mail usually comes and arrives, then we will shoot an unboxing. But again, it's one of those things where it is a uh, it is an event, so. It's kind of important to, uh, I mean, look, the collector's edition, say what you want about it, but, you know, I just hope that we get it and there isn't problems. Yeah, I don't think there'll be problems this time. I think it'll, it'll be smooth. If anything, the biggest problem that I might run into is them not giving it to us on time, even though I paid for the extra shipping. That's the only thing I could see, like, GameStop fucking up, but not not so much, like, Capcom messing up the legitimate collector's edition, but 
us not being able to do what we want to do at a certain time. I mean, yeah, you're going to have these assholes that don't even know about Resident Evil 2 Remake, and they're on these, like, you know, paid, uh, these paid accounts. You know how they get, like, unboxing videos out, like, two weeks early, you know? Um, and they, like, do the unboxing, and it's, like, a really shitty unboxing. We, we saw, we watched this Xbox X unboxing, me and Perry, and it was, like, the most rushed thing ever. And if you, any of you guys have ever seen that, it's, like, by these companies, like, CNET, and, like, all these, like, weird companies that do these collector's editions. They open it, and it's, like, they don't know anything about what they're opening, and it's, like, the worst thing ever. So I think the main, the main thing with us, it's, like, we're just gonna try to open it like collectors and actually appreciate what we're spending a lot of money on, um... Because, I mean, it's, it's Resident Evil 2, so we kind of expected this to happen. Uh, and we expected the Collector's Edition. And, and from, you know, years ago on the show, I would say, I was even saying, as soon as that remake gets announced, I'm getting the best edition. So I would have been kicking myself in my ass if I uh, didn't jump on that. And apparently the other day, um, Perry sent me a screenshot and GameStop posted some more on the website. A little bit. It was up for a little bit. There, the pre-order option was actually there. Unlike the sold-out... Uh, you know, tag that was just kind of haunting it for a long time. Uh, so, again, it's all it's all good. It's all better. And uh, you got some you got some different things uh, to look forward to. And now that they have merch beyond belief and celebrating it beyond belief, they have a bunch of demos and stuff right now. I think there was a PAX South that just happened. Double Toasted went there, and, uh... Oh, pizza's there. Oh, shit. It's pizza time. God damn it. It's been a while. How do you feel about the game? It's... It's everything I would have liked in Resident Evil 2. And just on steroids. And we'll actually see how they kind of coincide everything once we actually play it. But so far, this thing plays and kind of fits like a glove as far as just kind of getting right into it. Anyone can really jump into this game. I can see anybody coming through that's maybe finding out about Resident Evil through the Resident Evil hype and sitting down and actually playing it because I think their main thing was they saw, you know, the remake target, you know, audience that downloaded remake. And now you have that audience. You have the people that might have got into it after it was remastered a bunch of times. And it's like, it really feels like they're they're trying to map out the rest of the series with this. And I said that a bunch of times, but I, I still mean it uh, to this day, uh, where it is going to be the foundation for Resident Evil 8. Um, and what where they take it. Uh, because, you know, Capcom needed money, and Sony was like, hey, we got this cash for you, VR, make it VR. And, you know, sometimes you, you, you live and you learn. And uh, don't do that again, Capcom. Uh, just figure it out and take your time and just don't get anxious and just do what you want to do because just take this money and put it into another project being eight or three, whatever the hell you're doing. Um, just, just make it, make it the way it should be. And, um, you know, again, people ask about, you know, remaking one, I think remake should just stay the way it is, but you know, if, if it's a valuable source of income, then then possibly. But 100%, if that happens, I will probably not like a remake this style over the original. Just because the original remake is... Again, said it before, I'll say it again. It's a perfect game. So, it's a perfect Resident Evil game. So Yeah, I agree. So, I agree with remake being a perfect Resident Evil game. I think it's like the epitome of all the classics. Like, it's the best one in that style. But I would like to see a, a single continuous play style for the entire series, so I wouldn't be against them remaking one after they remake three. I guess it's one of those things where it's like uh, they'll just have it out there for the people that want to play it. I guess it's it's gonna be it's probably not gonna sell as well as two or three because that's the games that have been in dire need for a remake in a long time. But you know maybe it will. I mean I, I mean I don't know. It, it, <laughs> I mean, who am I to say who's going to sell what and what's going to do what? I mean, we just hope that it sells. I mean, considering that this is going to be the way it is, uh, it's already going to sell. So, Yeah, I think this this style here that they're going with, with the remake uh, for Resident Evil 2, 
is the most accessible, smooth, casual, friendly control scheme that still keeps the charm and the fear of Raccoon City all wrapped up into one. I think the only thing that would be bad for the original game for this play style is they would really have to do something about like you feeling like in this game how you have to board up the windows they would have to do something like that because otherwise there's not enough zombies realistically in the first game to keep it suspenseful well what what do you think about them like adding a different spin on the spencer mansion do you think there's a lot of like opportunity there with kind of like maybe another reimagining like do you think that that's going to be something that like might kind of I don't know, make it make it different, but not too different because like kind of what they're doing here, because I think like what you just said, going back to that, it's like, you know, I, I see I see both sides. I could see what they can do now with the technology, because even at the time with remake, there's still limited technology. We still had load times. We still had, you know, stuff like that. And, and, and you know, the GameCube limitations. It's true. And when they brought it over with like the modernized controls or still the t- and still the regular tank controls that was fine. Um so I I think like they they're really going into that realm of like well now if we got the eye of the people that are getting into this series now now it's an accessible thing. Uh because whether or not they got the people back from Resident Evil 4 or if you're coming back from after Resident Evil 5, I mean, it seems like this is kind of bringing everything back kind of full circle. So if you get back that older audience and have their attention, and you do three, and you do the remake again, then I think that's going to really lead it open for, like, the next one. Even if you did fucking Code Veronica after all that shit. Even if you're like, you know what, fuck it, we're doing Code Veronica, which some people were talking about. You could easily do that. You could easily do that. Yeah, definitely need Code Veronica. Like, Code Veronica needs to be prioritized over 4, 5, and 6. Because Code Veronica has the most potential on this engine than any of the other games to be creepy as shit and like scary mm-hmm. because if you really take like i always say code veronica is like the like the the black sheep of the series because while it is really dark and the characters that you have like alfred like those people are crazy like they're really creepy what happens to steve is creepy but because of the transition from that old style to like what they're trying to do in four that transition in graphics, it almost is, like, too colorful to be a dark game. It almost looks, like, too, too cartoony, for, like, f- for how serious Code Veronica's story actually is. Like, don't even get me started on Chris Redfield and how he looks like... Oh, he yeah. Looks, like, he looks like a fucking gorilla. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He literally... He looks... He, he, he It's like they completely overhauled his, like, look, like... Yeah. Structurally. Like, it's like, game. what do you, what did you do yeah. to him? <laughs> like... I always... When I was little, when I was little, I remember this. I remember distinguishing this, right? And uh, disclaimer, obviously, I don't mean any offense by this. But when I was little and I first played Code Veronica, when I was younger, I should say, I was like 11, I think, or 10, maybe. I don't even remember. I think it was 10, actually. Yeah. So when I first played Code Veronica, my and, and my parents used to play. So they, I remember, you know, my dad coming in and saying like, hey, how do, what do you what do you think of the new game? Cause I had the dreamcast and I was like, well, I really like it so far. I've been playing it for a couple of days, but I don't know why they made Chris Puerto Rican. <laughs> and I remember saying that to him and he was like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, he looks like he's Spanish. Like he looks like some type of Spanish person now. Like he doesn't look anything like I thought he was going to look. Cause when I first, when you first saw the, like Chris and Barry, you thought they were bigger guys. Yeah. Uh, their accents and stuff were clearly like typical white dude. Like it was just a very bigger, like a bigger dude. Nothing like Chris now. Chris is like a, a musclehead New Yorker now. But like <laughs> he, he was just like he was always like this bigger dude. And then when he came around um, in Resident Evil Two Extreme Battle Mode, I remember seeing him, like, okay, so Chris is a little smaller because his toy line, which was out at the time, yeah, was yeah. a thinner guy. So, like, when he came, he came, I believe, with a Cerberus at the time. Like, he had a Cerberus in him. And uh, he was, like, a little bit... <laughs> Juice had Chris from Five Best... <laughs> so, like... <laughs> Juice had uh, Chris from Five Best Chris. <laughs> yeah. So he was Juice head. Juice head. He was a little skinnier. So I was like, okay, this is what Chris is supposed to look like. And then Code Veronica came around, and I was like, why is Chris Spanish? Why is he Spanish? And that, to me, was just made and his gorilla body just kind of made like code veronica seem like it wasn't being 
the art there. Whereas when you go to, um, even when you go to Dark Side Chronicles, the Chris in that game doesn't look right. Like he doesn't look like the Chris that we know. Mm -hmm. He doesn't look like the Chris from Remake. He kind of just doesn't look, really look right. He looks more uh, closer to the Chris in Remake than he does in Code. So like I bought it, like I was cool with it. But in this engine, it has so much more potential to be like a way better game like suspenseful wise and like just exploring wise creepy music wise things falling around like that's something that doesn't happen in the older games think about that so like mm -hmm. when you're walking through the police station you don't hear a can bouncing around or like something falling over because back then all the items in the games were static because it was fixed camera angles mm -hmm. so it wasn't like an engine where you could move around push into things and stuff like that like it wasn't something like that um, so I think that, you know, you know, Resident Evil 3, uh, obviously people would keep saying Resident Evil 3 should be remade. Of course it should be. All of the originals need to be remade. Like, I think Resident Evil 3 definitely deserves it next. And I think Resident Evil 1 should get it after that. But I definitely think Code Veronica needs to be at least third, if not second. Like, if they save remake for last, like if they redo the first game for last, that would be cool. But to your point... Um, he said, John, to me, skinny Chris is Mexican, Hispanic. You can tell Deal you with it. <laughs> I know, it's, it's crazy. I don't have anything against it. I'm just saying. It's just, I love how he's just like, consistency. deal with it. Yeah. Well, they it's just consistency. But back to your original point. Yeah. Back to, they have become this game, this Resident Evil 2 remake literally is just like a zelda game it shatters the timeline like it just like everything that picks itself together what we're left with is we're left with nothing we're left with resident evil 3 happens before and after but the details of exactly what happens and where it happens is now just fog they need to fill it in because this game like I was saying earlier to them, it doesn't overwrite Resident Evil 2 in the time. It's essentially taking what Remake is right now, currently. It's taking where Remake ended, and it's branching it to a different timeline. Like, it's a di different spin on Resident Evil Yeah, because Remake still happen. That's why they're doing two. Remake still happen. Yeah. yeah. So, Resident Evil 2, now if they remake the first game again then that remake will overwrite this remake in the timeline that this Resident Evil 2 takes place in. Because I think Capcom knows they have a great a selection of IPs, and, like, their Devil May Cry stuff is, is, is getting a little bit of hype now. Um, I know, haven't played the demo yet for 5. Um, yeah. I don't know if anybody out there has played it. Um, yeah, they always have Street Fighter. They always have, like, they always have... Mega Man, but Resident Evil is like their one, other than Devil May Cry, it's their, like their one true bank-friendly franchise. Like, they can always count on it if they do it right. Like, Seven was an example of them doing it wrong. You know, fight me if you think otherwise, I don't care. But it was an example of them taking a risk, like you said, getting the money, getting the paycheck. It was an example of them taking a risk in a direction, but you know what? That like, may that maybe funded this project, you know, exactly. like that. That's the point. You gotta have like, something Perry, successful, like, bring it over. Yeah, yeah. Like Perry said in your podcast, if Seven was the sacrifice for Remake Two to be as good as it is, I'm completely fine with that. He said he'll like, take it. Yeah, that's, that's it. what he said. Yeah. He said I'll take it, and I, you know what? I'll take it too. But, but to have something, to have a consistent timeline where Resident Evil two three code veronica can all exist in the same exact in the same exact environment with the same exact continue like continue like continuity i should say rather mm -hmm. that exact thing is a dream that i've had that will we've never gotten because even though code veronica plays very similarly to one two and three the only true trio of games that has ever stayed consistent is one two even four and five handle differently. Inventory yep. management system is different. Uh, six is a completely different. Six is that, basically that's a whole yeah, different animal. Yeah. <sighs> Fucking the 
Kristen Anderson was the director of that game. Yeah. Like, it was just like, oh, we're just going to do whatever we want. And this guy's got a chainsaw and Wesker has a son. And here's Sherry. Like, if all of that can get overwritten, like, think about it. So if Capcom wants all their eggs in one basket, that's really rude. If they want everything in one basket, and they want to start with two because two is the fan favorite. Two is the hot seller. Two is bringing people back. Everyone loves Leon. Everyone loves Chris. Everyone loves Jill. So if if two is the slugger, right? If two is the jab into the jaw, three comes in and knocks it out of the park. We could be looking at a universe that they're creating, like a, a singular continuity that they're where four, five, and six might not happen. And if four, five, and six don't happen. And they can take the raw viral outbreak instead of the fucking African flowers that Five brings into the progenerator. Like, all that stuff. Like, if that stuff... To, oh, and I always forget about Zero, but Zero needs to be remade in this style, too. Zero but would be if, great. Like, yeah, Zero would be great. Especially if they introduced multiplayer online. Yeah. Where Rebecca can play together. I yeah. would love it. Yeah. But, like, make that your co-op game, you know? Yeah, make that your co-op game. If we can look in a world where all of that stuff happens like and four five six can either be rewritten to fill to fit in the story instead of doing like a star wars backwards storytelling because it always seems like every time they released a game like when they released four it was kind of like a new thing but then they released five and they're like trying to patch up everything that happened in the first four games with what happens in five and then trying to relate it to four. It always felt like a stretch to me. And then six was like its own thing as well. So all of that stuff, like Revelations is a perfect example of games that just reach out of nowhere and just hope, hope something sticks. But like, they're always trying to bring it back to the originals. They're always trying to give like, like they're trying to make it like coincide with the first game. So Resident Evil, we still come from the T-Virus, we still come from the Spencer Mansion, we still come from Marcus and Wesker and like all these, even though they're so far out of that at that point. If they create this new canon, or this alternate timeline, so to speak, where Resident Evil 1, 2 are remade in this play style, and if, as long as 3 gets remade, and if even if they kept remake without remaking it, that's fine. As long as that is that can like that canon is a thing, mm -hmm. they can go anywhere with this game. They can go anywhere with the franchise because they can just literally say, "Here is the old canon, which follows the original Resident Evil." Blah 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 blah. If any of you listening are Zelda fans, you know exactly what I mean by alternate timelines. It's like there's two timelines or three technically, but whatever. If they can do that and take it a different direction, honestly, I actually would welcome that more than just them remaking four, five, and six. I, I could see, but I could see them doing it if they pull off what we just talked about. Like if they knock it out of the park, like you said. I mean, why not? And and, and someone, um, uh, gaming ninja says, uh, why the hell remake the first game? They already have it. It's all about the money, man. The money, yeah. it, it will, it will, it will make money. And and if Capcom says they're gonna make they're gonna make a lot of money from the, from this, um, they're gonna do it. it. It's just it's again Capcom was struggling years ago. They're out of that dark time, and you know if if that's what it takes, if this is what it takes, it might not be for everybody. Um, but, you know, obviously, like I said, I still prefer the original remake. Um, it's true. Like you do, you do prefer. For the original remake but here's the thing so i you know you love resident evil i love resident evil we both love resident evil one even me as a diehard resident evil 2 was worried that they were going to screw this up i don't think that they screwed it up now this is the point right so Exactly, John Orr. It's rebooting. The it, it it is a soft, soft reboot. reboot. I I yeah. think I've said that even with like, 
even from we seven. Have said that. Yeah. We've all said that. We've all said yeah, that. We've all said after seven, it's going to be, it has to be a soft one. Um, and I will answer you in a second, Juan. Like, they could do it. Like, they could do it. They could not do it. They could come with a remake of the first game that completely, even though remake is a perfect game of, of classic re fixed camera angles like i would never argue with that dude i would i would, like you know how much i love resident evil remake is one of if not probably in my top three i would put it way over any of the other games except for two and maybe this one or probably honestly remake yeah probably yeah my third i think um, i think i think my top three list would probably be like three Probably, I don't even know, man. It would probably it's, be like yeah, it's, it, it's probably three, three, three remake, three remake, and then Resident Evil Two remake, probably or Resident Evil Two or the original Resident Evil Two. And if I did a top five, I'd probably have to extend it to a top five. It depends on how you would break it down, but it's like trying to, I don't yeah. know, pick your favorite kid or something. It's like you just don't do it. <laughs> yeah, you just can't. It's, it, it's exactly how I feel about um, Resident Evil. I was sitting down trying to make a top five list for for our games. Like I, I literally was, dude. Like I was sitting here trying to make a top five list because i was trying to figure out what was going on and uh, steve robinson just texted me a picture he's watching us oh sweet um yeah what's up steve shout but, out to um, steve yeah i was sitting there trying to make a top five list like what is my actual top five and i honestly have a feeling that remake two is gonna overtake like i get that feeling like this, somebody was saying it uh next friday i'm gonna be 11 all over again Lance. I Walking think it was Lance. The, yeah, Lance, Lance. The demo has got me... I haven't been excited about a video game like this since probably... Probably... I want to say... Um... Was it another Resident Evil title, or was there a game that has, like, uh, excited you? I think, yeah, dude, like, I think that the last game that excited me as much, much as this game was probably, uh, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Mm. That is, whoever can do a fact check real quick, I think that's 2000, so it's been eight years, or two. 2012 maybe i think it's been like eight years let me see actually oh my god it might be i mean it doesn't surprise me with it's this so... you know with, with, yeah. the gener with the generation of games you know it's so few and far between where there's a game that you're actually looking forward to that you're like 2000... i can't fucking wait for that you know yeah dude 2009 wow 2009 is when the park gold and soul silver so 10 out. years so 10 years dude a decade i haven't been this for a game since heart gold and soul silver and as of many of you probably don't know i am just as big of a resident evil fan i am a huge pokemon fan so for me these things are very comparable like not in obviously gaming, anything like that resident evil is my favorite but like pokemon and resident evil they're the two things that get me like super excited usually mm -hmm. not so much pokemon anymore it's always been like that and for me to say that for this game I was so excited for 4 when 4 was coming out, but I wasn't excited. You know what I mean? Like, I was really excited for 7, but I wasn't crazy. I was really excited for Dark Souls 3, but it wasn't like I had to have it. Like, if I pre-ordered it and I didn't play it that day, I was fine. Like, it wasn't like that. Like, when we get our hands on this game, I am praying to God I have, like, a TV hooked up in the back seat when we're on our way home. Like, that's how much... <laughs> That's how much I love, and I, I love the demo, and I think it's beautiful. I think it's not trying to be something it's not. I don't feel like they're pumping their love juice into the game to make it look super 4K HDR. Like, it looks just as good as I want it to look. It's not even in true 4K, because it doesn't really exactly. have to be. It doesn't have to and be. It, the RE engine it, looks beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. It runs, it runs so well. Like, move if you move around, like, if you guys are watching or if you've played the demo, when you're moving around... It's like, it's, it's so, 
it feels so good, even when you sidestep. Like, you know how in Resident Evil 4 and 5 and 6, like, if you move to the left or to the right, sometimes it's like you're walking in place and you're not really, like, yeah. shuffling. You're just... It's very, he like, do that. wonky, yeah. He, like, yeah, he, like, snaps. It's like he walks like a real... They got it so... I mean, obviously, there's going to be glitches and yoga positions that the zombies fall in. I've seen some of those. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the one tweet where the one zombie's eating the other zombie's ass. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like bent over. <laughs> this is so good. But yeah, it's like butter. I said sex. I'm sorry, kids that are under 18. But still, like, <laughs> it's, it's so good. Like, it's so good. And thank you for playing. Oh, would you end it? Oh, I can go back right into it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Th this is a PC hack, guys. Like, I can play this thing for however long I want. There's no time limit. Someone said you only got 30 minutes. Tick tock. Nope, not on the hack. <laughs> nope. I gotta get the hack, too. Yeah, it's just a little trainer. You just open I can send you it. Um, and you just open it, and there's a British guy that tells you when it's activated. And uh, <laughs> it's like a British voice. It's like, activated. And then... Um, activated. So, basically, I can jump right in. I have infinite ammo. I'm going to put this on super speed. We're going to see how fast we can do it. Watch this. This is going to be a lot of fun. It might be a little weird for people. It might be hard for me because it's going to be moving quick. But let's see how fast we can do it. But there won't be actual time. So because it yeah. just tells me zero, zero, zero because I'm on a trainer. So also everybody watching, don't forget to check out my channel. Yes. John has uh, John's item box. Ha item box on YouTube, youtube.com slash doesn't have a url yet but if you just type it in does. item box no, it does no. wait yeah. you could do it now without uh yeah. dumb stipulations that youtube makes no. you do it, it just makes you have 100 subscribers and i do oh that's not bad so uh it's pretty awesome yeah but you, you know he's been busy making videos and content a lot of stuff's coming out especially with resident evil 2 on the horizon so uh, yeah, Steve asked if we have the, uh, do we have the added key items trainer so we can get in the extra rooms? I did. I don't have that. I don't have it yet. Um, I, no, I wasn't sure how to. It. I wasn't sure how to attain it. But I mean, if well, you not just that, find it. Yeah, not just that, but we also uh, because of our stream. I don't. I don't think we want to spoil that. Stuff. Yeah. Because like those rooms aren't supposed to be accessible. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know what's... I mean, it's probably not... doesn't spoil too much, but, I mean, who knows? No, it's I, probably just, like, the, the West Office. It's probably just the upstairs, the save room. Um, and what else can you get to? That's really it. Just the, just the room, room with the uh, the clippers that you use to get in. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, it's up to you. As, as long as you're going through the demos like what it doesn't let you do. hey if i can if i can attain it easier i don't know i don't uh perry only sent me a link to the uh to this trainer um before the weapon access was available but if uh if anybody or steve if you want to link me that i'll see if i can get it real quick john's room said sub to, to the item box been enjoying the content coming out well thanks john jerome always supporting the shows and what yeah, we thanks, do Jerome. so thank you man Yeah, the uh, the channel is uh, www.youtube.com slash itembox, mm -hmm. I-T-E-M-B-O-X. I release videos just, I'm just going to plug this once real quick, and I'll do it once at the end, too. Sure. I release videos on the Mondays and Wednesdays. I do a file reading on Friday, which this Friday that just passed today, uh, I actually released a video of me going through all of the files in the so you guys might want to check that out. I'm reading them all. I don't do really an analysis. I just show you where to do that. If you're looking to get them all like through your half hour run, if you haven't done it already, you can pick them all up. I may have missed one. I Unfortunately, me and Anthony don't have access to demo. We're not going to, we didn't ever, we never got any footage for it. And we never got, there's files. I have read them. You can read them on the Wikipedia if you're interested in that. I just didn't want to do any content that I didn't have footage for myself. Me and Anthony are really big about recording everything ourselves. We don't like borrow or take anything from anyone else. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, what's um, going on, Richard? Reminisce plays in the chat. That's Richard's new LP channel. Uh, what's going on, Richard? Thanks for coming by. Oh, what's up, Richard? Come here. <laughs> Mitchell, I subbed to the item box and Barry yelled, damn you. 
Damn you. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's talking about the the music mix I made. You know, you That's amazing. The cattle, the yeah. yeah. Like, Damn you. Oh, that's great. That's exactly the kind of figure uh, that I wanted you guys to see. Um, Juan, I know I... I know that you asked me about Chris. My favorite Chris is probably... I'm going to grab another Resident... beer, bro, back. All right, I'll hold the fort down. Probably Resident <laughs> Evil 6, Chris. Playing Dark Souls on Switch at the moment. Richard, you are a G. I love Dark Souls, and I love the Switch. Um, I'm actually thinking, I've been kicking around, I've been working on some things behind the scene about maybe starting up a Nintendo Switch-only channel. Um, I don't do this for money, I do it for fun, so like it doesn't matter to me how many different channels I have. Uh, but I got Revelations. I picked up Revelations on the Switch um, a couple days ago. I haven't opened it yet, but there's like a mini game on there when it's loading. You could fight and do any like all these different things. Lizzie, uh, or Anthony, rather, was telling me about. Um, so I'm really excited to get into that and record that. But the Switch is awesome, and I'm very happy to hear you playing Dark Souls on it. I like Dark Souls on it. It doesn't run as good as the PS4 Pro or the Xbox One X, but... To have Dark Souls in your hand, dude, that's awesome. It's like see, Skyrim in your hand. see uh, you and Richard have something very in common where, um, and you guys don't even know it, but uh, basically Richard feels very similar with how you do with the uh, with the Switch and the whole like resolution and, and frame rate thing. He he yeah. know, he sees the differences, but he's not like he'll he'll sit and play Dark Souls on the Switch just because he really likes the Switch. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, so yeah, just, yeah. just kind of like backing what we were talking about earlier back in my department where we were like, Oh yeah, the Switch just it's just great for a, a lot of those games and like that's Richard's like finding his interest back in, in gaming with uh with you know the Switch and even yeah. classic consoles, but he's he's really enjoying it. But you guys share that similar kind of, you know, the 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 resolution of the graphics aren't aren't always like, you know, key point element for for playing any kind of especially a Switch game that's like, you know, it's not based off that performance, but he really enjoys it. Oh yeah, for sure, especially like the Switch in general is awesome. The Switch is just, like, it's so good. And we're getting Remake on the Switch and Zero on the Switch. And what was the other one? Uh, four. <clears throat> four. Not five yet. But they should do five just because of the co-op. That would be dope. To just kind of sit in the same room with a Switch and play RE5 co-op. That would actually be cool for the people that like RE5. And I That's would awesome. probably play that again. But, um, uh, Soul of Death 99 says, Guys, in the news about Resident Evil... Uh, writing, okay, on Resident Evil Outbreak site, true? What? So, Resident Evil Outbreak's site, true? Are we writing? I'm not sure what you're referencing there, but, um, you let me know. I made it, uh, to Crystal Cave, John. Gotta fight Seath again. Oh, uh, Seath the Scaleless. What an asshole. That name just sounds like an asshole name. Yeah, he's basically Seath? a blind... Yeah, he's a blind dragon. Uh, and the first time you run into him, he has to kill you, and you end up in... <laughs> and you have to find your way out. It's not like the Tomb Raider prison. You can actually escape. <laughs> Unlike that stupid fucking jail cell that they put you in in Tomb Raider. What was it? Tomb Raider 2 or 3? Tomb Raider 3. Oh yeah, my god. Raider. The guy comes with a baton, and he's smacking the shit out of you, and you're like, <laughs> What am I doing? Like, what's going on? I love Dustin's reaction too. He's like, I could never leave that room. He's like, I just stopped. Like, I could never do it. It's like, dude, I know. I I struggled as a kid, and I was like, I was playing the demo. I'm like, this game isn't fun. Who would buy this game? But then, yeah. you know. Steve said that the it's on Cheat Engine. Oh, it's on the Cheat Engine. Okay. Yeah, it's on the Cheat Engine, and it allows you to get under the statue as well. Woo! That's awesome. Actually, yeah, let me, think, uh, uh... We're not gonna download that. I could watch gameplay of this game forever. Dreamcast Hub, Steve Robinson, I feel the same way. I don't know why I keep saying his name. Because that's always what I called him. I just said his whole name. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably like, stop blowing my name. It's like, dude, I, I don't... No, it's so sorry. Dude, um... you're gonna stop me. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, let me let me see if I can pull this up real quick while you... Well, uh, I mean, I'm still running the demo. You guys can look at the glorious police station while I... Uh, yeah, they're they're gonna remake everything. Also, shout out to whoever composed the new soundtrack. While the, 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 the 
Dude, this game's music with headphones is creepy as shit. Mm -hmm. Like, if you play it with headphones, I think you are. Are you playing it with headphones? Yeah, right I am. <laughs> yeah. It is crazy. Yeah, and I like that you can set the setting for headphones too. Like I like that you can actually do that. So like if but if I want to play through surround sound or if you play your, through your surround sound, you can set it on that option and it prioritizes everything. Um which is great. Um Oh yeah, that's what I thought Soul of Death was talking about. They did the same thing they did with Devil May Cry in RE2. They wrote the word okay in Resident Evil Outbreak site. So basically if you go to Resident Evil Oh, Outbreak, okay, okay. It just yeah, it just says okay. Um they're going to remake Outbreak, I'm telling you. I honestly think that they're going to remake Outbreak because Outbreak is a game, me and Dustin were talking about this, and you and me. It was designed to be a game that would thrive in today's world, not the PlayStation 2's world, where we can sit there with LANs and Ethernets and just get the best signal possible, jump on with some friends, and not like your stupid limey blimey Umbrella Core bullshit. It was supposed. It's like it's supposed. to Ah, uh, God. It's a, yeah, Don't remind it's supposed me. To be like a boom, 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 boom. This is Resident Evil co-op surviving the city. Like this is what you need to do, Raccoon City. Here it is. Do it online. Do it with a friend. Do it with your grandmom. Do it with your mom. It doesn't matter, right? Like that dude said in the liquor file. Make like my grandma, and creep around the liquor. That's actually what he says. <laughs> yeah, I know. To, to any survivors. That's amazing. You people make like my grandma and run. run. Make, here's another shocking announcement. I think that Resident Evil 2 is going to be ported to the Switch. I think they're just fine-tuning it so that it actually can unscale itself. Well, you heard it here first, Steve. Yeah. yeah Steve, Steve's really, like... Steve's like... Steve just like... He's just like, I'm a, waiting. You just heard a thump on the bottom of the yeah. <laughs> Well, I think uh, I think uh, Steve might make an exception for this one. He'll definitely. You, I, I don't know, Steve. You can still play this on his. Uh, ba I know he has a base PS4 and at his house, <laughs> but. I just love watching your little face on the video. Yeah. Like, like five minutes, like thirty seconds after we talk. Yeah, you just, just rubbing your hands together. It's like. All delayed. Maybe they'll make a new outbreak. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what that's, we're saying. That's, yeah. I, that's ideal, man. I mean, at this point. Look at that sexy, uh, that sexy game stand behind you. Oh yeah, look at this. Who, this is who uh, found that? Who found that? This is this is John John's doing of the outbreak. The collection update is actually uh, in. It's rendered. It's just it's in the oven. It just has to be uploaded. But I, we uh, we went on let go, and this guy was was giving out this. Outbreak standy and it's it's fucking it's dope. Yeah, shout out to him too. He's a really cool guy. Yeah, shout out to uh shout out to him. He he promotes radio shows and podcasts. So when it's up I'm gonna send it to him so he uh Yeah. So he kinda gets a chance to see it. And he's like, I it's good, it's going to a good home. I'm like, Yep, that's that's what it is because we uh we actually appreciate stuff like that, you know? Yeah. And thank you so much for the uh the book you gave me too. Oh yeah, dude, no problem. Like that was a given. I was like, I knew I was gonna buy it immediately. So, of course, it's gonna be downgraded, Juan. We just said that. Yeah. It's gotta be downgraded because the Switch isn't. I mean, you can't get the processor and graphics card in a in a handheld that. I mean, I mean, I guess you could, but it would cost way more than three hundred dollars. That's what we were talking about. Like when you said me and Richard have a lot in common. I'm sure Richard feels the same way, but like. Yeah, exactly. See, John or knows what he's talking about, or her. I don't know if it's a boy or girl, but she or he knows what they're talking about. So at the resolution the Switch can go to, handheld mode is 720p. At that screen resolution, you don't, you're not going to think that it looks like shit. When you, when you dock it on a 55-inch TV and play it on PS4 Pro or Xbox One X versus the Switch, obviously the, they're, the other two are going to look better because they have better hardware capabilities because they can... The Switch can only do 1080p. The PS4 Pro can upscale it, and the Xbox One X can at least try to, like, you can put it in 4K. So it's going to look better. But the Switch is awesome because, like, if me and, you know, Anthony are at work, you know, and we brought our lunches, and we're sitting there in the break room, and we eat a sandwich. It takes me five minutes to eat my sandwich. I got 30 minutes to play. Or I'm going to pull out the Switch. I'm going to play Resident Evil 2 Remake. Yeah. Or, or I'm going to play Zero. Or, or we're going to sit next to each other and play Resident Evil, and we're going to laugh about speedrunning. Like, 
that's something that only my PS Vita can do with the classics. But, like, that's something only Nintendo is taking advantage of. Like, that handheld market that can be docked on your TV, that's a two-way. Like, the, every game, they literally created a world, right? The PS Vita tried to do it, and I, we won't get stuck on this for long, because this is about Resident Evil 2 Remake, but the, the Switch is essentially every game that you buy is also on the go. Who would not... Anybody in this chat right now that's a Resident Evil fan... Tell me you wouldn't want to play Remake on break in the bathroom sitting on the toilet with your Switch mixing the V-Jolt with Rebecca Chambers because Chris is like, we get to the root of the problem. <laughs> oh no. Like, that is exactly and I would never not own a Sony PlayStation because I will because there's exclusives that like, you know, like your God of Wars and you know, your higher paced games that they only, the Sony gets access to or gets access to early, like story content and stuff, like Final Fantasies. Um, oh, oh, perfect example. Steve, if you're watching this, right? Final Fantasy 15 is a really mediocre game, okay? So it's great. Have you played Final Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition on because it's awesome. It's so I have so much more fun with the Chibi Pocket Edition of Final Fantasy 15 than I've had on the PS4's version of it. Wow, the proportions and stuff. I, I'd be interested to know if any of our Switch owners have played both of those games because the Final Fantasy 15 Pocket Edition is so much fun. <laughs> Steve. Playing it on the toilet when it scares the shit out of you. Won't matter. Won't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, like, um, I, I don't know. I mean, oh, also, Steve, to answer your question, the stream, the Resident Evil 2 demo, the original one, absolutely. I, I could probably do that. I saw JJ did it over on Resident of Evil, but uh, I've had that demo for a while, but yeah, I can, I can probably do that. I could probably do that, in fact. In fact, we could do it tonight. Resident Evil is the only game franchise that I can literally, like, get about that I am just not. Like, it's just, like, you're probably the same way. Like, you're, you're so into the demo that, like, aren't you, like, just excited right now? Oh, yeah, man. I mean, I'm so yeah. I'm so ready to, to dive right in and, uh, you know, to just kind of, like, in be in, you know, in this experience with all the other fans out there, uh, I think it's, it's important because this is a, this is something that's we've been waiting for for a long time. So I definitely feel the hype and the positive vibes and it's all, it's all good. I'm just so excited people. Like, can I get a excited explanation point in the chat? Can everyone just type all 43 of you, all 43 of you just type excited, excited. And we do it. Yeah, go to the... Did you see the moral? No, no, no. Okay, okay, go downstairs in the police station real quick. I gotta show you something. So go downstairs and go over to where you pull the thing down and the gate goes up. Where you pull you pull the switch, you pull the lever down after you cut the... Is it after you, you know cut the tape? About? Yeah, after you cut the tape, All right, you pull the I gotta, lever I gotta get gate. to that part, but I'll go on super speed, so we'll get there in like two right, seconds. Yeah, yeah. The... Uh, um, I, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a few seconds. Oh, Jonner, you don't have to be a fan of Joy. I have big hands. I'm a 6'4 guy. I'm 6'4. I've got big hands. They are really small. I do everything on a GameCube controller. And if Resident Evil Switch, guess what that means? It means you can play with a GameCube controller because they have the adapter for the Switch. In handheld mode, weird at all, I promise you. When you pull them off, it does feel weird, especially if you have bigger hands like I do. But you can play with a GameCube controller. So, like, Remake and Zero and Four, all these GameCube-exclusive games, you're going to be able to play with GameCube controllers. Do you know that, right, Leslie? Yeah. Or Anthony? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. You're going to be able to play those with GameCube controllers. Like, I don't know about you guys but i played so much resident evil 4 when it 
that still to this day it feels weird with a PlayStation controller. Oh no, yeah, GameCube is the way I I would love to play Resident Evil Four. I would love oh, to see a nice HD so kind of upscaled version, but on the GameCube controller. All right, so I open the door here. All right, and when you open the door, as soon as you walk into the building, the briefing room, or as soon as you walk into the room, there's like a little a pedestal on your right to the right by the in front of the. If you if you aim go ahead, I can't see it yet. The pro controller is great. So right there on your right, there's a little mural. You see where that little the, the officer's head is? It's like a brass statue of his head. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you look at it, not that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you aim at it, slogan is we. Like read the whole thing. It's really cool. Or get close to. I would have to like turn up my texture resolution because it's like so blurry because I had to turn it down for my PC so it looks like PS1. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. I hear I'll pull I'll pull it up in footage in my game read it real quick. Yeah. Because I I, I had to lower my uh, my PC for this stream. Uh so, you know, it's fine though because I just kind of wanted to mess around and shoot the shit with you guys for a few hours. Oh yeah, for sure. I've already oh, so streamed the demo from front to back, so yeah. it's at this point it's just kind of like we're just kind of fucking around, having a good time. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, the thing that you're looking at right there on the stream, right? Now, it has a little thing. It says we do it. Does it? Oh it my says, god. Yeah, it does. Look, it, it, I'm gonna Resident Evil Two. I was looking at it the other day, and I was I was dying. I was just cracking up, dude. Also, uh, Steve said, just the feeling of knowing I can just slow down and explore, knowing that all of my actions in-game will actually build up to something and collecting to the extra uh, pieces for Leon. So excited. Yeah, I mean, regardless of what I, we'll play it on. Yeah, I mean, it's like, just regard if you just get your hands on this game, it's like, it's just, the, you know, you're there, you're experiencing it. Uh, you know, there's people that will be playing this on like a 720p TV on their five-year-old PS4, you know, it's and, and, and you'll still experience it, just, it, visually it won't be as impressive, but I mean, you'll still experience a yeah. great game from start to finish. It's not going to take anything away from it. Um, it just might not run okay, up to I'm par. looking at it. It says, it reads, it, this is a, and then it shows the badge. It says, this bronze statue is dedicated to all the brave men and women who have lost their lives so that others may have freedom. And, and say, it is a tribute to all our everyday heroes, all our everyday heroes who valiantly protect, uh, protect and, it's hard to read, protect something and are willing to, to make the ultimate sacrifice quote unquote we do it raccoon police department motto god damn it just imagine them like sitting around like killing chris we do it we did it like <laughs> they're just like we do it yeah. spirit warrior 40 on twitch says did you play resident Evil 7 in vr i did uh shout out to joe uh he had a vr on his playstation and i did play it in vr uh, and I have a VR too. I got dizzy after about an hour and a half, and I stopped uh, when I played RE7. So I was like, "Yeah, I'm good." I mean, it, it's good. The graphics definitely suffer when you drop it to VR, but it definitely is very cool to to be kind of in the game, if that makes sense. I mean, being in, in any Resident Evil would be fucking awesome. Um, but it was like, oh man, it was still a really cool experience, though. It, it still was cool. I can't wait to see Tofu Mode. I love the Japanese voiceovers for it. Goddamn hilarious. Yeah. Nanshita. Nanshita. I can't wait to see Aruka's yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> I really I really hope that they, they keep some of those stores in the Also, uh, remember earlier we were sitting and talking about um, John... I don't want to hear shit from you about the epic Pokemon Detective Pikachu movie. It will be awesome. To believe that. I honestly think it's going to be the best video game movie ever. I like how I, t I like how I texted John. I was like, it looks like shit. <laughs> what? Yeah, it, it was so crazy. Like, it looks so stupid. But I have a feeling it's going to sell better than any video game movie sold. 
Yeah, because video game the, movies have been, like, making less and less. Besides Resident Evil, like, you see the box office numbers, it's, like, less money, less money, less. It's not as a valuable source of income, but if you make it Pokemon and people don't realize it's a quote-unquote video game movie, you're kind of getting into that casual lane. Exactly, and so that's yeah. why it can be a lot more popular because people are like, oh, I know Pokemon, I know Pikachu, they'll go see it. Where if they see a video game movie, they're not going to be as entitled to just go out and see a random movie like uh, something like, I don't know, like Hitman or Max Payne. They're not going to be like, oh, what's that? Let me go see that. I don't know the game. It's like, no, nah, most people want to go to either see how bad it is or just to actually see if it's genuinely good. Uh, oh, yeah. And that was the case for Resident Evil back in the day. Oh, and apparently James Wan dropped from the reboot, so now there's nobody on the reboot, Resident Evil. Yes, he did. James Wan did drop from the reboot. Yeah, that was a sad day. I got that tweet. Sounds so who the fuck's going to produce this thing? Who's going to gonna make gonna it good? Me. It's going to be me and you. Yeah. By the time they get it around, we'll be able to get a whole film crew together. We'll do it. So, so they told us that we weren't allowed to tell you guys. But we do it. We do it. Me and me and Anthony are the new directors of the <laughs> film series, and you guys won't believe us, and that's okay. But I promise you, the next movies are going to be amazing because we have the best directing crew on board. Me, my friend Anthony, my friend Dustin, and my friend Alex. No, and my friend and my friend W. S. Anderson. <laughs> what if he came back and was like? Gave his old self a beer and was like, hold this. He's too busy doing Monster Hunter. Did you see those screenshots, dude? Oh, no. Yeah. Monster Hunter. Another Capcom series to shit on. It's time. It's time to suffer. <laughs> he's literally like, he's like a virus. <laughs> he's like, oh, Monster Hunter's got the WS and that, That's yeah. when he rubs his hands. He's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I can just put my P.W. Anderson stink all over this. Yeah. That's what I was going to say, too. Um, it's going to make a lot of money, Richard says. Yes, yes it will. Uh, Johnner says, the Pokemon. It's Pokemon, the name of life. And yes, absolutely. Like, Pokemon is almost in a point at a point where it transcends video game. So, there is nothing else like it to where it's got a successful video game franchise, tra trading card game franchise, and movie franchise, apparel and t-shirt and collectible franchise like it's the only that has its neck out for everything like it's the only thing that i can that's everywhere like you can go to a dollar like pikachu is a recognizable face almost just like disney's characters at this point. and it's almost not fair that pokemon is coming out with a live action movie because Look at this zombie just head bent. <laughs> this is on super speed mode too. He's just like <laughs> he's like nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. It's like why is your hoe low? Sarah said Netflix is working on a Resident Evil series. My hoe is low though. My <laughs> hoe is low. Why is your hoe, why why is is your hoe low? low? <laughs> <laughs> I like how Leon's just like bastard. Yeah. What? Dude, that's my favorite part. So Dustin were telling you about um, that person who made the YouTube video that cut all the game together so that all the characters were at the end fighting. <laughs> yeah, I remember you remember talking about that? that. Yeah, yeah. And remember how every like 10 seconds, Chris would be like, you son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. you son of a bitch. I said he predicted the future because I was, I went outside. I think it's in my demo. I upload anybody wants to see what I'm talking about. But the demo play I uploaded, as soon as the demo starts to turn around, I go outside and he I'm just aiming I'm aiming at the zombies and I'm just looking at them and Leon's like, You bastard <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know what else I really liked? So you know how in Resident Evil three everyone memes the shit out of Jill when Jill gets bit and she's like, No Yeah yeah and she like pushes them off. In this game, Leon does Yeah. So if you if you get if you're like really close to get you, you can trigger it I've d i did it a few times so if you're really close to being bit and you like swiftly dodge it or nimbly dodge it sometimes the hit collision of him getting near you to trigger that voice effect will still happen even though you don't get bit 
So I was running away, and Leon was just like, no! <laughs> no! He's, like, screaming. He's like, no! I, I do like that, though. Uh, also, um, on Twitch, I, I did see your comment on Twitch. Uh, they're asking... Uh, Spirit Warrior Forty was asking how I feel about the demo overall, and uh, I mean, I I'm I'm excited, I'm excited. It's we got our hands on it, and now that I can actually play it without a 30 minute time limit and just sit here and not care, uh, it's even better. So <laughs> I, I feel like I'm finally playing a piece of Resident Evil 2 that isn't like, and you gotta hurry your ass up, and you gotta hurry your ass up even more. <laughs> like, better get that fucking key. I do like that there's, like, a big-ass chandelier in this hallway now, and that, like, there is a couple different floors in, like, the staircase. I kind of like that. Where it's, like, the locker room is, like, up. It's, like, in a different location. It's not... I mean, it's on a similar location. Like, but there isn't a door here anymore where it's, like, it leads you to the school or the office is on a completely different side. Where normally it's right there, but something like this, they changed it to where it's right over here. So it's technically in the same spot. It's just like the door yeah. is over here and not on this side. Yeah, the door's closed. Carlos Cruz, what's going on, man? Carlos Cruz is like offering um, certain things that he is. <laughs> he's offering parts of his Resident Evil collection to me. Uh, he apparently, cool. yeah, he. Get me involved. He, he was he was uh, well he's gonna try to meet up with like me and perry at his game store um sometime so i mean i gotta actually see what's going on but carlos i would like to go <laughs> you still gotta meet perry too yeah i want to meet perry i love perry i've never met i love you perry way more than i love that animal richard <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding richard i love that Hello, animal. Everyone. That animal. That animal, Richard. That. It's a monster. It's oh, filled with his, demons. Of course, his name is Richard. Did you get the semen? <laughs> <laughs> Spread it all over me, Jill. It's the only way to combat the poison. <laughs> Richard? The poison. It's. It's a huge snake. <laughs> it's a huge snake. He's, you know who is the most savage in this series? Jill Valentine. Barry keels over and dies. And she and Chris is like, my God. And then Jill just stands up. <laughs> and you just, <laughs> you just walk away. My God. Walks away. She's, Jill's just like, oh, not even anything. He's just like. Barry's just like. Go, go quickly. <laughs> and she just is like, peace, bitch. She just <laughs> walks across the <laughs> Chris is like in shock. He's like, I can't believe what I just witnessed. My old partner. Ouch. My old partner just died. <laughs> Ouch. He's just like. I just love shooting apart these bodies. Oh my god. In high speed. You're in chipmunk mode. Yeah, this is chipmunk mode. You can shoot the limbs off just like in Dead Space. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Oh. Uh, Juan's given his list of uh, RE games. Number one, RE4 for Juan. What the hell? I know, Leon. What the hell? Why is this zombie headbanging? Yeah. Can you, like, knock him down the stairs in any way? I can just shoot his limbs off. Well, that's the thing. Like, if you shoot their, their legs off... And they can't, like, you know, crawl, or they can't get up, so they can just crawl. I mean, that's kind of, like, easier to save ammo. So Juan says, one, he chooses RE4. His number two choice, RE3. Number three, remake. And number four, RE2. Good list. It's a good list. 
Yeah, it's a good list. I mean, it's bold like list right own. there. Absolutely. Kind of. Yeah, it's kind of like picking. It's kind of like picking, like your children, like you said earlier. It's hard because, like, yeah, Resident Evil Two is my favorite, but like, there's some things, there's some parts of three and remake and zero and four that like I love, and it's hard to put one over. Th- but I think remake two is gonna shit on all of them. <laughs> I I love I loved I loved Perry's comment in the last in the last podcast where he was like, "If this doesn't win Game of the Year, you can kiss my ass." Like, yeah, exactly. He's like, "They can kiss my ass." Yeah, it's it's completely like it's a different game. Like, it's transcending what we thought. And and that's what and that's the one thing we brought up in the podcast where it's like certain people are like overshying this on YouTube videos. Like, oh, yeah, RE2, we played that. Yeah, all right. Anyway, on to the next game. It's like, no, you can't do that. It's not just what you think a remake is. This is a new game from the fucking ground up. You can't dismiss it. Like, it's just like a fucking, oh, yeah, it's a remake Resident Evil. Yeah, everyone knows. All right, anyway, on to, you know, Kakadookie 5 and, you know. Yeah whatever the hell else like no like you can't do that you know this game has a life of its own this is a new game and yeah perry's right i mean are you okay mark <laughs> they're just moshing Yeah, John, look what I'm doing. So I'm pretty much trying to, like, I'm going to try to, like, shoot off their legs. And then it's like, if you shoot off one of their legs, then they're just meant to crawl. They can't do anything. <laughs> look at them just sit. They're just, they don't know what to do. And they're not, they're not on attack mode, so... They're like, ah, we don't know what to do. Yeah, like Resident Evil 2 reboot, but in a good way. It's just, you know. You'd... What the? <laughs> I like how it, when I shoot him away from his, like, point of spawn, he just stays there. He goes back there anyway. Juan says 5RE6, 5RE0, 7RE1. Okay. HR Zone 2 says if they remake 3, it would be awesome if they use the same face model for remake for Jill to scan her and RE engine. Yeah, it's got to, you know, Julia Volf has to, has to uh, sign away her likeness again, and she's not really in it anymore. She doesn't really do, I mean, she's like married now, and she, you know, she's not really, I don't know if she still does like the modeling. I know she does cosplay. I know certain conventions kind of pay her to cosplay as Jill, um, but um, you know, I would love to see Julie evolve. Of course I would, but you know, they're not going to do that. I can already, I have a feeling they're not going to do that. They're just going in a complete different direction and a complete art style. So that means we're going to see a new face of Jill. We have yet to see a new design of Jill since the last time we've seen her. Um, the last, like the latest. One I mean, was Revelations. Fun, get, are you talking about Resident Evil 3? No, I'm saying with Jill. Like, the last time we saw a newer model of her character in the current timeline of Resident Evil after 5 was Revelations, and that took place before that. So yeah. we haven't seen what she's going to be redone <coughs> in the RE engine. They should remake Resident Evil 4 into the original story with the castle and ghost. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the game that never was. Yeah, just like Maximilian dudes said. I want the TG, G, double G virus big bitches into the afterlife. <laughs> fucking, fucking umbrella. <laughs> After. 
Carla Cruz says one is RE2, two, two is RE3, three. three is Remake, and then one. Or it's just Remake 1, rather. Nocturi says, to be honest, remaking 4 in the in this engine and keeping the horror, it would be... it. I think it would make the, the village, castle, and island even scarier. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean... <clears throat> as long as they don't get too overboard with, like, oh, we gotta compete with Call of Duty, and we gotta compete with this. Like, that's why 6 suffered so much, because they didn't know what the fuck was going on. They're like, well... You know, maybe you want to see it like this. Maybe you don't want to see it like this. Like, I don't... It's like... We don't want to see a game that's just, like, so bloated it doesn't know what it's doing. You know, it's kind of going through, like, an identity crisis. It's like, we've been there, done that. You know, so now it's like, you don't want to, like, keep rehashing that over and over again. You know, and, you know, the, again, they took the step back. But, um... And it says four is RE5 for Carlos Cruz, and number five is RE4, and six is RE0. Probably has a whole top ten. I've only ever done a top five video uh, on the channel, and even that was really hard. And even that probably could have changed over, you know, that, that time. Because, again, it's just like trying to shuffle it around. Um, it's always common for certain things to kind of move in placement. Stars. We do. We just got a new subscriber. Thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. I will actually find out who it was in a second. Once I pull up. Uh, this live dashboard thing. Where are my. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, cool guy two ninety one. Thank you for the subscription. And Kane Mello also subscribed two hours ago. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. And also if you're watching the stream right now, don't forget to leave a like on this stream and video. Stars. Oh my god, we got multiple stars going on. More people, uh, two people just subscribed, two other people just subscribed right now. I don't know who, I gotta refresh this now. Uh, Nocturi, or Noctural. Thank you. Yeah. And jo or jo I more subscribers. Or if you all want to come watch more Resident <laughs> Check out www.youtube.com slash item box. The item box. Three Resident Evil videos coming your way. That is what I say every week. Woo! So thank you, guys. It's your boy. It's your it's boy. John. It's your boy, John. Bringing you Resident Evil videos. And, yeah, that's really all I have. <laughs> I was going to rap a little, but then I forgot what I was going to rap. You have a top ten ant, an updated list. Oh, no. Oh, Ch dude, it's Charrat. I remember you. You were my boy back when we used to live stream Dino Crisis, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's he was there. Right he was there. there during our summer stream of Dino Crisis yeah, too. Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. Cheers. Yeah, dude. HR Zone Two. They did great with Leon and Claire, so I faith that they'll get Joe right either way. I mean, yeah, if you get Swedish models for every actor, what the fuck. I mean, you're gonna get something right. Maybe they'll actually get a, a Spanish guy for Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, you son of a gun. It just gets it's harder for top three wrestling for the fans, man. Every year is duff for some people. Diff. Well, I'll probably do an updated one. Um... <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Man, this thing is just like, I just get excited every single time I just see this police station. Just this main hall. Oof, look at that pixelated lighting. I had to turn a lot of stuff down. Um, my... Yes, Carlos. Yes, Carlos. What I is... will be there at Perry's store when you come with your collection. And I will offer 50 cents more than everybody else there. 
I want your stuff. Anthony already has enough stuff. I want your stuff. Motherfucker, he wants to sell it to me. <laughs> I want your stuff. Yeah, but money talks. This guy, Carlos Cruz. This is Car. He's ready. He's calling in Raccoon City. He's like, shh, does anybody hear me? Shh, I need the cash. Shh. I need... I need cash now. Dill, is that you? Oh, he's love me. Carlos I love my accent. I am super high on Pepsi. <laughs> I just drank a two liter of Pepsi since the stream started. Jesus Christ. And now I'm... Ex <laughs> That's I'm a like lot, super, dude. I feel I'm that in my veins right now, just from hearing I'm that. super energetic. I'm ready. I want to play this game right now. Here we go. I want Remake 2 on my... <laughs> Mine top 5 are... <laughs> yeah, Richard's gonna be there, too. He's gonna come, he's gonna come for the... For the Carlos's fucking... He will, man. I mean, he's... Think, of, think, of, it, think, think of it this way. I mean, not on that point in time of date, but he will be, I mean, he's not that far. He's like, you know, if you drive through Buffalo, New York and shit, you're almost halfway to his fucking house. Yeah, Ontario is not that far, man. And we actually, it's funny. I pulled up the analytics for Richard. I was like, we have like a couple hundred fans that listen to the show on Spotify and just download the show that are in Canada, in Ontario. Like we, like in Ontario specifically. And I just, I, like, it was just blowing our minds the other night. We were just looking at the, the analytics. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of interesting how, it kind of goes, gets around, but it's, it's cool that there's fans all over the fucking place. Not so fast, John. Walks into Perry store before the final deal is made. Not so fast. <laughs> Not so fast. Held in there. Out the window. Uh, Soul of Death 99 says, remake, then zero. There's too many fucking numbers in these comments. <laughs> one, one, remake, two, dash, zero, remake, three, dash, CV, four, dash, three, five. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so it's remake zero code veronica the revelations and not two not two One, and not two okay i, don't know, I guess it means not two That's... any this my and this my top five horror games all time re4 dead space dead space 2 evil within res evil within evil within two re4 fan carlos cruz you should tell him to come too yeah richard come RE2 Chorat says Resident Evil 2. Ah. Oh my god. All these twos are giving me a headache. The Remake two and the three. three. He said my top five is Resident Evil 2. Remake 3. Oh, Resident Evil Remake. 3. Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil Code Run. Okay. Ba -ba 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 Puts in the RE2 oh, disc, oh. RE Survivor plays. <laughs> How about some Dino Crisis Resident Evil spin off and horror reviews? Yeah, we probably. I mean, Dino Crisis is coming back to the channel. Don't think we're done yet. Oh no! Yeah, that's uh, we gotta ride the wave for our, for RE2, but we're yeah. not we're not we're not far from RE uh, RE3 <laughs> Dino Crisis Three. Um, we're going to, that's next. You guys voted on that. Keep in mind, that was the last like stream you guys actually voted on. And I don't know if any, Before the holiday. yeah. So it's just, uh, <laughs> oh my God, that's a nightmare. Puts it, dude, that would be such, that would be such a fucking troll. Do you imagine you're just like, you put in the Resident Evil 2 disc and you start it up and Survivor comes on. And you can't get past it. Resident Evil Survivor. Jesus. They're everywhere. They're everywhere, but they don't attack. I just did, you damn rat. You damn Man. rat. Juan is a fucking... He's Ron's a savage. A... Juan's just... Juan's a savage. In a good he way. He like knows. Shit. He just knows I'm here. Resident Anthony. Eli, easy the game hunter. 
<laughs> Eli's the man. Eli is actually another person I've been able to meet uh, because me, him, and Perry always hang out. Uh, he comes up from uh, from New York all the time, a different part of New That's York. Cool. Uh, and he was a fan of my channel. He was a fan of Perry's. And we all met through YouTube. So it's like a whole big YouTube uh, friendship with everybody. It's it's awesome. Yeah. I think that's why I think yeah. it's it's impacted me so much uh, just doing content is because I've been able to meet everybody. And that's how me and you became close was because I even mentioned the fact that I do like channel and like Resident Evil stuff. So it's like just that alone. Yeah, you didn't even, yeah, you didn't even tell me about your channel. You were just like, I'm a big resident. Like, oh my god, I've never met another person like me. Yeah, I mean, because it... I instantly knew. Oh, yeah, because at the time, like, again, it was like, um, it was like, uh, I think it was because I worked a lifestyle shift. And you were you were still there yeah. at the time. No, so. we worked the midnight. We did the midnight. But we, we, we worked together during the day before that, though. Like, I remember yeah. we did before that. Um, and then I think that's what got it, got it in there. Yeah. What do you say? Sorry, guys, but I gotta, I gotta go. Uh, have a great stream. Hopefully, you guys stream again soon. Looking forward to more content. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. No, we. I mean, shit, man. This whole week's gonna be filled with. Uh, the next week is gonna be filled with streams. I'm also gonna be streaming in the meantime to supplement the, uh, the wait for, uh, for stuff. We got. I have a collection update. I have a final chapter commentary that me and Richard are putting out. Uh, this week it's already in the can. We just gotta uh, put it out there. Um. And then a couple more streams before then, and then we're good to go. We're YouTube living legends. We are. I need a Silent Hill game with graphics atmosphere like this again. But then again, I think I'm good. The RE community is great. Sure did. Don't forget to leave a like. We like it when you like it. When you like us, when we you, like it. We like it when you like that's all. when you click that like. <laughs> yeah, that's what I that's what I put. Like it. You do like it. You like Oh, and also like click the uh, notification bell as well so you always know when i'm streaming always know when i upload stuff because some people don't realize that yeah you can click the subscribe button but youtube also makes it harder for subscri subscriptions to show up in subscription bars as they always have so if you put the bell on you'll never miss a beat you'll know everything that's coming out that we're putting out podcast discussions community discussions q a's reviews the whole fucking thing what's up william William, what's going on, man? Thanks for joining the conversation. Join the Resident Evil talk. Oh, dude, predictive combat software is coming in Resident Evil 8. Don't do worry. Oh, no, that's coming. It's coming. Look at this. That zombie that you're shooting in the window looks like the grandma from 7. <laughs> look at the fucking bullet. And look how I'm about to just, like, shoot the... F <laughs> I'm just about to shoot apart her limbs like it's nobody's fucking business. Yeah. I'm gonna take the locker key again and just like. <laughs> I love that guy. He was like, I subscribed, and Barry said, "Damn you!" <laughs> I forgot that I have that set. That is the first video that plays on the channel. Damn, damn. It probably, probably scared the shit out of him because it's loud. It's. Damn you, bam! The triggering system. <laughs> bam! bam. And then, uh, have you, you remember I, I, yeah, because I remember the first day. It was months before I even let it. Like, I, I heard it before anybody else did. It was like yeah, months it was before. Months. It was, it was great. It was great. I, I was like, you have to make this your, your, you have to make this a part of like the, the channel, like in some way, yeah. shape, or form. Because you're like, I'm thinking about doing this for a trailer or like an intro. I was like, dude, you have to. That's yeah. amazing. Oh. That reminds me, are we going to, do you want to, after Resident Evil 2, you know, dies down and all that, do you want to do a, a stream of that PT that they reloaded? Yeah, I would love to do that. On yeah, PC? With the Unreal Engine? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I actually sure. would have been able to do it from my old PS4 because I actually had it installed up until the point where I wiped it and sold it. But, uh, well, because I, you know, I needed oh, a pro. Oh, I, dude, that would have been That zombie is the grandma confirmed. Confirmed. 100% confirmed. The triggering system has been attacked. Where have you been? Where have you been? 
do, 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 do. <clears throat> My average view duration is two minutes and 19 seconds. That's really fucking good for my videos because my videos are only like a minute to two minutes long japan's watching my videos yo i did the most boss thing ever and so this guy this 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 guy commented on one of my videos in japanese and i google translated a japanese response really i did so he said in actual japanese characters like i translated the and I wrote my response in English, and then I translated it to Japanese, and then translated it back so I could see what it said, and then I sent it to him. Wow. So my it actually forest, worked. Yeah, it worked. My forest video is, like, Japan's most favorite video. I don't know why it's got so many, it's got so many views. It's just everyone loves that. Steve asked, uh, did you open the safe? Uh, no, I don't know the combination. It's not 2236. Yeah, I don't know the combination either. I, I think Bear, Where's Barry put up a video. Um, shout out to Where's Barry. Fellow Resident Evil friend, fellow content creator, awesome guy. The community here on YouTube already knows who he is, so I don't gotta tell you who he is, but, uh, yeah, he does. He pretty much did a lot of videos on the demo, so that's awesome. And is a good content creator. Staying on the grind. Just like this guy's sitting in the chair. This guy's manspreading in the chair right now. Oh, no. Not the dirty manspreaders. <laughs> I mean, he just fell down, but... Yeah, look at him just going. Nothing, nothing useful in the safe, that white. It's probably just ammo at this point. That's all they're going to give you for where's the demo. Kurt, where's Kurt Richard at? Dude, Kurt Richard's been gone for a while. I've, see, I've seen him pop up on Twitter, <laughs> but Kurt Richard pops in and out. The, the times he has popped in, he's been like, Hey guys, like sorry I've been gone, but yeah, Kurt Richard's... Uh, Another OG MVP. Kurt Richards has been watching my channel for probably the nine-year duration I've been on the channel. He's been there for a long what? time. Why is angry? He's like, John, I need a Pokemon Stadium 3 for the Switch ASAP. Very underrated games for N64 in my book. What the hell do you think? I think Pokemon Stadium 3 should come out. I think it's great. John and I reached a dead end in the cave. What cave? You're talking about Dark Souls? There should be no dead ends in the cave. Can you play some music from the first game while playing this? Yes, you can. Wait, you can? Um, yes. Not the demo. No, no, oh. No, the demo. Oh. No. oh, I was like, you can? Yeah, no. Let's do it right now. <laughs> I was I, fucking. I literally paused the game and was like ready to fucking do it. Okay. No, no, no. You could you can change the OST if you pre-ordered the game. If you didn't pre-order the game, it's DLC content. So if you just go and buy it, you don't have the original soundtrack. You cuck. I mean, wait. Can we say cuck on the radio? Uh, yeah, on, you can say that on yeah, the radio. Like, sure. <laughs> well, this is our radio. That's true. <laughs> this is our uncensored, unfiltered, uh... Beep, 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 beep. Nine left, 15 right, seven left. Okay. Nine Well, yeah, left. you can probably play the OST with a crack. Right? Hey, we opened it. Oh, it's another side pouch or hip pouch. Side awesome. pack. So there's two side packs in the demo and there you go. There's two side packs for uh, for when you play the game. Unless they just pull a complete reversal and don't put the actual items there. No, I don't think the uh, the items that we're finding in the demo are going to be in the same spots. Because you know that you don't go from the police station to the uh, 
to the uh the fuck's the thing called the sewers you know you don't do that right away you know they switched it so the kendo gun shop is after the station really yeah so in the in leon's campaign you go in the city to the man Station. Then you go back to the city to get to some to get to the Kendo gun shop to get somewhere else with Ada, because Ada goes with you for a while. Under the ground, you don't actually go out of the police station underground. You actually go through the city. There, it was just some weird, crazy stuff that they're doing this time. Uh, um, the Kendo gun shop you actually go to after the station. That's like, you know, again, kind of playing into how they're making it things a little bit different. It's okay to kind of like yeah. think the fans are expecting one thing and then just throwing it off. Carlos Cruz says, Anthony, I remember your first Resident Evil podcast. Yes, I remember that too. And I remember how bad the audio was. I kind of teased on making like a Resident Evil, let's talk Resident Evil box set and putting all the episodes like in a row for like one video. So it's just like a whole fucking cup, like whole hours and hours of just one video. Um, <laughs> hours of resident evil discussion just drilled into your head throughout the years um but uh yeah man uh well it really started in 2012 with the re6 discussion and that had bad audio and then the first episode of the show that was called let's talk resident evil episode one was also in uh bad audio form but um next gamer 19 oh my god God, I forgot that was you. Yeah, I remember that. I'm pretty sure we answered like a bunch of your fucking questions a million times when we've done Q&As back then. Um, yeah, man, the show's been living on and now it has a life of its own. I started putting them on Spotify when I kind of like stopped uh, numbering them. I, when I stopped numbering them, I started titling them uh, because when I just numbered them, they didn't get as much kickback or views. as. I mean, even all the older episodes have over a thousand a video, which is cool, but you know, why can't they have more so now um a pr one of our pop most popular shows that was our me and john's vendetta review that got thousands and thousands of views surprisingly so uh yeah, on the that podcast was, that was i love that episode i love that theater i loved how they knew us yeah <laughs> they knew us so in the theater they recognized our voices shout they out to rob s the yeah rob s wherever you are i was actually gonna say where's rob s at? Mm. he's been liking my stuff on twitter he's been around so Uh, I think Kendo's going to be in Claire's story, and then I think he's going to die. Leon's going to go through it. I don't know for sure, but I just have a feeling. But Kendo isn't. He's got to be in the game. Oh, he is. And so is Carlos. I think he's already been like shown in some way, shape, or form, but again, we haven't really been looking at that as Carlos much. Carlos is going to show up, and he's going to be like... like He's just going to show up. <laughs> I'm here. Carlos. Carlos is going to show up. <laughs> You're like, Carlos, it's the wrong game. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be like... My name's Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Carlos, lady. And then they're going to be like... And then Claire's gonna be like, this is the wrong game, and then he's gonna be I know. You wanna ask me out? <laughs> and she's gonna be like, no, not no. really. And then he's gonna say, I promise I'll meet up with you later. <laughs> and he's gonna run away. I promise I'll and, take you out later. And then they're gonna be like, no, Carlos, you're on the wrong set. And he's gonna be like, what do you mean? You're on the wrong set. It's not remake three yet. And then he's. No! <laughs> no! No! Alright, we're back. We're yeah, back. it's it, we reconnected. It's all good. Alright, cool. I'm just making sure everything's good on the uh, on this side of the thing. Alright, yeah, it's still good. Cool. I don't want to have to end it and jump back in. So anybody that does the archive, they, they can watch it. So Watch it in one go. Yeah. So we're still good. We're two hours strong, though, so it's all good. We've been... <laughs> Biggest spook off stream was it just ended. It's a spook. It's a scare.
Dylan got a switch. Hey, I told you about that. Switch. That's awesome. And he got Kirby. Yeah. I can't wait. Oh, I have a donut. I have an eclair donut. Oh, you know what I'm going to do while you're playing? I'm going to start reading through this magazine and sharing. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Yeah, the official PlayStation Magazine UK World Exclusive. Scans now up on Let's Talk Resident Evil, Evil Facebook. Yeah. If you want to Scans read them in depth. On the Resi yeah, if you want to read them in depth. If you don't want to hear my sexy voice. <laughs> Resident Evil 2. 50 reasons why this is the hottest game on PC. 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 That was a PC. On PC. PS4. New info, screens, and more. Leon S. Kennedy. I do my best. What you call it? Voice. What's that fucking stupid ass channel called? Or I shouldn't say that. Never mind. I apologize to you. Uh, <laughs> game game trailers. Yeah. What, it was Smosh? Is it Smosh that does that? Smosh does gaming videos. <laughs> I haven't watched Smosh in like fifteen yeah, years. <laughs> yeah, but wasn't that they're the ones that do the dramatic trailers, right? Do they do dramatic trailers? Probably. Yeah, I don't remember. Probably. Like, totally honest trailers or honest trailers. Yeah, Maybe. honest trailers. I'm pretty sure it was the Smosh guys. Maybe. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Because here we go. What page does Resident Evil 2 start on? Oh, it's the whole book? <laughs> uh -huh. like I'm going uh -huh. to grab, grab another beer. Hang on one second. All right. I'm going to grab another two liter of Pepsi. And, yeah. And continue reading uh, the entry as a... Yeah, as a, as a dramatic voice person. I actually recorded videos in this voice as a joke once. <laughs> and we were going <laughs> to upload them. And I was like, nah, nah. People are going to be like, too upset if we do that. So I didn't, but it's like still a fun joke though. <laughs> oh yeah, it was, it was a hilarious joke. I still have the footage. I still have the videos. That's Is that amazing. Travis touchdown? Oh, uh, I was so disappointed in the No More Heroes game. Like I thought it was gonna be another No More Heroes game, but it's just a top-down fucking beat 'em up, and I like it. Like it looks cool. But I'll wait for it to go on sale. Oh, uh, okay. So the, it was Smosh who did that. Okay, we have confirmation it, now that it was Smosh it that was did Smosh. that. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. Secret and confidential. Resident right. Evil 2 remake. Hang on one second. It's... Keep going. 50 reasons why returning to Raccoon City could be the best thing to happen on PS4. Getting lost in lore is easy. When it comes to Resident Evil, trust us, we went right down the Resident Rabbit Hole. <laughs> Do you know if they have different covers for this game, like a Leon cover or Claire? Yes, it's reversible color. It's a color. Jesus Christ. It's a reversible cover. You can Your games can be either uh, Leon on the front or Claire on the front. But they're only doing that for deluxe editions. I mean, if you're not buying Deluxe, then you should be. Like, it's the Resident Evil 2 remake. But, like, it's weird, because, like, our Best Buy, like, website, for example, it's like, oh, yeah, so you, if you get the Deluxe, it's like this case. So I'm probably just going to pre-order the Deluxe on Xbox. <laughs> so yeah. I have it. Here we go. Here's the first. I'll start reading. I'll start reading the cool parts of the magazine. So, number one, the first point on the, uh, on page... The UK doesn't number their pages. Oh, it's in the middle. That's weird. 45, page 40. Double Trouble. The remake features separate scenarios for its twin protagonists, just like the 1998 game. The original had A and B storylines for each lead, depending on the order in which you played as each protagonist. This could alter certain events as well as item and character locations. Having gone hands-on as both Leon and Claire in the remake, we can't wait to re-explore their paths and see what's surprising. Oh, what surprises await oh, in this retelling? I like it. <clears throat> oh, shit. They really numbered it. Oil be back. <laughs> Just like the original, the new game opens with its heroic twosome, bike-loving student Claire Redfield and rookie cop Leon S. Kennedy, meeting and then losing each other as an oil tanker crashes and explodes. Why'd he bite me? Why'd he bite me? After the pair resolved to meet at the police station, Claire soon encounters young Sherry Birkin, caring for her throughout both of her scenarios. Wait a second, what?
Okay, that was weird. I think they're talking about the original game. I was gonna say, there's are there are did they just spoil the zapping system came back? There's no way, right? It didn't. Oh, I think that's where that rumor started. Let's see, meeting and then losing each other. They're... Yeah, 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 dude. Look. Yeah. They're... Just like the. Just like the original, the new game opens with its heroic twosome, bike-loving student Claire Redfield and rookie cop Leon S. Kennedy, meeting and then losing each other as an oil tanker crashes and explodes. After the pair resolve to meet at the police station, Claire soon encounters young Sherry Birkin, caring for her throughout both of her scenarios. More on the Birkins to come. Okay, that's interesting. Nice little tidbit there. Yeah, City Lights. Naturally, Leon. And on PS4, Raccoon City has never looked better. The glimmer of store, lights on the wet tarmac, the stillness of the traffic. This is a city to admire and fear. Fear it. Gunsmith. What's a return to Raccoon known. City without a look at Gunshop Kendo? The famous store is back, and you'll be scurrying through it to escape the groaning, thong. Or throng, the groaning thong, the groaning, the groaning throng. throng, just out of sight. Oh, I, I really like this too. Number five, Fatal Frame. The switch to the RE engine doesn't mean there are fewer stocks in this remake, or fewer shocks in this remake. The dev has put a focus on wetness and darkness to evoke a sense of fear. While you can see ahead and control the camera, you still won't know what's coming next. Or from where. Thanks to that darkness, it still feels like you have a blind spot and need to be wary of what's lurking in the shadows. I said this to Dustin. It feels like they took the flashlight mechanic that made the Silent Hill original scary. Because mm. you couldn't see what was going on. Yeah, it was very dark and there's fog everywhere outside. And, you know, especially like in 2, when you go in those apartments, man, it's dark. Like, yeah. dark. I'd love to see Fatal Frame on the Switch, too, Richard. It's coming. It's got to be coming. Oh, that would be great. That would be great yeah, on the Fatal, Switch. Fatal Frame. Did you get, uh, Richard, did you pick up Deathmark? Deathmarks, are, it, it looks pretty cool. I'm going to pick it up soon. It's a it's a survival horror game on the, or it's not survival horror. It's just a on the Switch. The Jaguar Stone. I like me over here. For this game. Torches in dark rooms were big in the 90s. Here Claire does her best Scully impression. Scully from the X-Files. Yeah. Dude. That's, that's awesome. That's 90s right there. I love the yeah, X-Files. I've never finished it because there's so many fucking episodes, but I love, I love yes, the concept. Yes. And, oh, and it came uh, good show. back. I really liked it. I really liked it came when it came back. I yeah, really liked yeah, I really like those episodes. Um, well done, very well done. Yeah, William Evans. I love the concept of the flashlight and the four prototype. I. Where's Brad? Absolutely. He's got to be down here. Brad's down here somewhere. Yeah, Brad. Brad Vickers. Hello? Is anybody here? This motherfucker's put a picture of the typewriter keyboard in here. <gasps> yeah, I know they did. Alongside staples. Yeah, here's a good one. Writer's block. Along. Says Ink Rubens will have a role. The bum thumb to play. The seventh mainline game featured the functionality similar tapes, similar tapes for Madhouse difficulty, and producer uh, Tsuyoshi Kanda has confirmed that settings in this remake will feature a similar saving system through an autosave, will be available for those wanting a more casual experience. In Leon's shoes. So what do you? Let's talk about that for a second before I move on. Um, I know me and you've already kind of like difficulty in and why we we would rather have the ink ribbon settings if we can pick it right from the beginning by the way guys we're going to play it on hard mode we're not going to play it on the auto save mode mm -hmm. but um how do you feel about it appealing to the casual audience with the auto save mode do you think it's bad do you think it's good uh like like what do you think 
Uh, well, I, I talked to a, a few people on Twitter about it because I was tweeting about it the other night. Um, but I got a lot of negative comments, too, from people that were bashing me uh, for that stuff. But uh, basically, um, but uh, someone like Kat, who's she's a part of like the Capcom community now, or uh, Resident Evil, she was uh, talking to me, too, about it. And she was she had some really good words saying that it was kind of like a mixture of the... Uh, you know, the casual and kind of bringing everything together full circle. Um, and I said, and, and I agreed. I, I think, I think it's a great option. I, I think it would be cool to have the choice uh, just for us fans um, being remake of what it is. But I understand that it's, it's a casual, you know, thing they're trying to do. Not everybody's going to be able to handle that. Um, but giving the option and the fact that the options there and like how we had Madhouse difficulty in RE7, um, it, I think it's great, uh, but anything that makes it feel more like the original, I'm 100% down for that over autosaves. Um, I think I've always kind of expressed that interest in, in that over, over autosaves, so if, you know, if we could do something like that where we don't have to worry about it and we could just kind of choose it uh, from the get-go, we can choose hard mode, then that's going to be for us. Um, it's, it's not going to be for everybody, though, uh, and I kind of understand that, so... Especially nowadays where it's it's a little bit different to kind of like just kind of jump in and say, all right, well, you know, by the way, you can only do these ink ribbons. You know, they didn't really change it in the uh, remake remaster. They didn't go back and make it, you know, checkpoints or anything. They kept it ink ribbons. So um, typically what people originally liked was the ink ribbons. Um, but again, they, they I, I think uh, bringing it back in this way still gives it that, you know, cool vibe. Um you know, but it's just like RE2 with checkpoints. It's like I just prefer to have like the challenge. But uh, again, it's it's harder for people to to play through it. It's harder for people to understand what you have to do right away. Uh, and you know, even for the older games, it was a challenge for some people with that concept in mind, with the ink ribbon concept in mind. Uh, so yeah. having that option, it's great. Um, would I have preferred it the other way? Yeah, but I mean, it's not. It's like I, I, I get why they have to do it the way they're doing it. So I personally think that um, I personally think that having the casual market difficulty is fine. Okay, so mm -hmm. I think having it with checkpoints is cool. I actually am of the opinion that more difficulty options you have, the better the game is. So like Dustin and me share this opinion where like Silent Hill is a perfect example. You don't only have a difficulty, you have a puzzle difficulty. Because some people are really skilled at mechanics and really shit at solving puzzles. Like, that's really cool how they have two layers of difficulty. I'm not saying we have to have that for Resident Evil, but I think that the fact that um, that they're allowing people to have checkpoints to get through the game is cool because more people will buy it. As, um, you know, John Orr said, he, more people get to play it. Like, more people are going to be able to experience it and experience it at a casual Not level how I imagine my first however day. kind of like raid finder from world of warcraft if anybody's played world of warcraft raid finder because they call it tourist mode, where you can just go in not follow any mechanics and blow through a ball i've took a real guild to a raid mode, or a lfr group which is looking for raid it's like a basically like where raids are imagine a raid like in a game where you have 30 people fighting one thing or 20 people fighting one thing and they take all of what makes it, and they just make it like a, a damage sponge basically a damage check mm -hmm. that's kind of what this is with auto saves and I, I feel like i would take it a step further one, one of the things resident evil has never done except for maybe madhouse mode i forget if they did this or not but one of the things i would love to see in this game be a sneak update or like a sneak feature I would love to see a realistic mode. I would love to see a one bite mode. If a madhouse bit, mode. Yeah. If you get bit, you die. Like that is the reality of the situation. And I would love to see a one bite mode where if you get bit by something, it's it. You're done. You're infected. Like that's it. It's over. It's over. Yeah. Like I would love to see that. And I would love for you to be able to have control over the checkpoint system in that mode like I, I i would love no checkpoints in that mode i would love it just to be no checkpoints ink ribbons only you get bit you die 
Um, I would love to see trophies for that stuff. Like, I would love to see achievements and trophies for things like beating it on. If you beat sure. it on casual difficulty, yeah. you should get a casual trophy. You shouldn't get completing the game trophy. You shouldn't be able to brag like, oh, that game was easy. Because 90% of people who are like, that game was easy, they play it on the easiest mode and they think that they're great. Like, I want it to be separated. I think it's very, very important. Like, a one bite mode is super, 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 super important. It's super important that's one of my favorite things about the legend of zelda series ever since ocarina of time um the um well really i guess it started in twilight princess it's called uh master quest had something like it i believe but uh or maybe no maybe it didn't but it basically you get instead of having 20 you get three hearts and everything does triple damage so it's like legend of zelda for the more hardcore person it's, the, it's like the Legend of Zelda Dark Souls versus um, just your ca casual, you run through and just beat everything up and around you and you're never in any real danger. Because no matter how much you love Zelda, Ocarina of Time fans, you're never in danger. That game is so easy, the way that it's built, but for, that's besides the point. If you have it, like Breath of the Wild, where there's a hero mode, where you get three hearts or you get six hearts or whatever you ha have, you get hit by an enemy instead of it doing two hearts it does eight hearts and you only have those little tiny enemies about become everything like you're just like oh my god it's a enemy like i have to make sure i'm on top of my game because they will kill you and i feel like some of the horror in resident evil gets taken out of the ass when you're in an easy mode and you're getting bit and leon's just throwing them off like Resident Evil 2, I was just recording some footage, um, some because I'm starting Resident Evil 2 files, uh, some in, in the next couple of weeks for my channel, uh, of me reading them. File Fridays, we call them. Uh, I accidentally loaded the wrong save, and I was like, oh, I'm just. Gonna... And it took eight zombie biting on easy mode to kill me. Jesus. Eight, and two of them were from the back. Or, or... If you get bit from the back or if you get bit uh yeah if you get bit from the behind you take more damage uh so like it took eight bites to kill me and i was like wow easy mode is crazy and yeah i could play it on a but i played it on easy because i was just cruising through to grab the files that's yeah. all i was trying to do well, well i and think it the... it, it, it's like it, it you know that how people will portray it now <laughs> and juan says more like a whitey bite me mood yeah it's like you know planning every move that that's really the main thing it's like you know you're, you're going into a game not only because it's a brand new endeavor but it's also okay well if you just kind of think thought you mastered this brand new endeavor try this and it adds re it's all about replay value at the end of the day this is all extra content that we're talking about here that can really keep fans you know situated um and set in that regard apocalypse mode yeah anything or just call it bite me yeah Bite Leon mode. Must bite. Leon must die. Ada, Leon and Ada. Uh, Ada, Leon and Ada. Leon and Claire and Ada. All of them must die. And Sherry. And Sherry all of them. And, and Barry. Barry. Don't forget Barry. Barry's in this game. He is. But yeah, we yeah. will. Um, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up in a second here because I do gotta get off to bed. I got my early day tomorrow, and. Uh, uh me, me too. Yeah. Me too. But again, that's that was the point. That I'm happy you jumped on though, because I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna be streaming, hanging out. So come join the conversation. We're really just dicking around. So. Also, 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 I forget who it was that said it. However, number twenty-one in this magazine, truth will out. Ben Bertolucci is incarcerated after attempting to investigate. The they have a screenshot in here of Ben Bertolucci getting killed. So he has been shown. I didn't even he's peep on, that. Yeah, yeah, he's on the he's on the in the um he has been shown. He is in the game. He's wearing his white dress shirt, motherfucker. It says freelance journalist Ben Bertolucci comes to a sticky end after uncovering the truth. Why do they put spoilers in the magazine? <laughs> That's very I mean, interesting. It's not really spoilers. Yeah, not really. I mean, you know he's gonna yeah. die. You know he's gonna yeah. die. Yeah, but I'm surprised no one was like, "Hey, why did you do that?" 
I want to fight this liquor already, goddammit. Let me fight yeah. this liquor. Knife to meet you. <laughs> you hear uh, Barry's voice you. in the main menu. Bite me. Yeah. You just you start, you click start blood. on the menu. Yeah. Yeah. You, th <laughs> you think the blood would make the liquors hard to stick to the ceiling. Oh, I love it. They even did it. Number 24, your lick. Take it from us. Check your ceilings. An early note found by Leon in the police station advises that you creep around like the writer's gray anywhere near the blind, slick, skinless liquor. But trust us, so you'll want to deal with those skittery nightmares before they deal with you. You'd think that the blood would make the liquors too slippery to stick to surfaces. No such luck. <laughs> also, there's a screenshot, not in the book, but I saw a screen of um, a liquor attacking you is the same time as oh, okay the one thing that we me and dustin have always talked when we, we were creating our resident evil board, uh which we watch it's not it's not happening board game got announced um is that in one of the cool things about never see two different types of enemies and like there's never a moment where you see liquors with zombies or zombies with hunters or zombies with doggos it's always um it's always like packs of them yeah for the same thing yeah the only time you ever see two enemies at the same time is when nemesis chases you into where the zombies are or to um i think even the the brain suckers if nemesis is in that room the brain suckers don't appear no if you don't kill them like they're he only he can get interacted with zombies. And that's because they wanted the whole thing where he's just like bitch slaps. <laughs> and they just go, ugh. The pile of mush. He's not the. He's not the police chief. He's a very naughty boy. Brian <laughs> Irons is definitely not the. An iron fist. He will always be remembered as eccentric. But he is revealed to be deeply unhinged. <laughs> Also, there's an entire Q&A with the producers. In yes, this book, there is. Which I won't get into. I won't get into, but... It's all, it's up on the Let's Talk Resident Evil Facebook page down in the link if you want to read the whole thing. All, yeah, all, all one, high quality. And, yep, and one last time. Uh, there's so much more. I have, I've only got people, and that's all the stuff that we've had discussion for so far. So, like, there's a lot. There's a lot in here. But, um... You know, one last time, just to, you know, plug myself in here. Plug your uh, stuff, man. Yeah, don't forget to watch the item box. Three videos coming your way every week, Resident Evil related. I do have Resident Evil 2 videos coming soon and Resident Evil 3 videos coming soon. We're just about finishing up. I'll have Resident Evil 1 videos, the original, um, coming out through April. Um, and I am going to kind of, like, squeeze in some Resident Evil 2 and 3 videos. Um with the file readings and stuff like that. But I have a lot of more exciting videos coming out. Uh, more top five things about Resident Evil you might not have known. Uh, I've, I have plans to do a lot of those little, like, cool facts. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's really cool. Uh, www.youtube.com slash item box. Uh, we'll probably, he'll probably put that in the description since he's going to, you're going to upload. Yeah, it's going to be uploaded in the, in the archive. So once this process is, I'll put the link right in the bottom. So you guys can check that out if you're watching this in the archive. Um, yeah, me and John, and, and also I want to plug our stream. Me and John yes. are streaming 24 hours, Resident Evil 2. 24 hours. 24 hours straight. Hours. Um, now, of course, we know some of you will be playing this game yourself. But we are doing this, obviously, for the people that want to actually watch it. So I'm not expecting, like, you know, everybody to watch this while they're playing Resident Evil 2 at the same time. No, I, I know a lot of you guys that watch me and watch John and watch what we do here on YouTube are going to be getting this in for yourselves. Or you might not or you might be getting it later that weekend. You might not be watching it right away. But if you can come by. We would love to see you guys there and drop a like and, and drop a comment. Uh, but some people just don't give a shit. Some people just watch anything. Um, so that's basically what we're going to be doing. It's Twitch, YouTube. We're going to be streaming uh, Thursday night at about what? When do you want to say like 10 o'clock? Um, we're probably going to be getting done work around 8, 830. Uh, well, I'm done. I'm off. So I'm off 
Best Buy is not doing a midnight release. Only GameStop is doing a nine o'clock release the night before. Or the um, one by you, by the way. The, yeah, the one by me. So I'm going to be off. So I'll pick the game up. I'll meet you at your house around 930. We'll probably start around 1015. By the time everything's uh, installed. and Yeah, probably 1015, 1030 ish, guys, because like give us time to get food and snacks and we're going to get the pineapple Swedish fish. We're going to get everything. Yeah, yeah. Everything's ready the to go. The tropical stuff. So that, we'll probably start around there. That brings me back uh, to the dino crisis stream. Yeah, the dino crisis. That was a lot of fun. I have so much fun doing those streams. Yeah, man. That, those are some good memories right there. Yeah. Also, just so you guys know, a little bit of a tidbit. Um, after all the Resident Evil 2 stuff, they actually have a couple more pages going over the history of Resident Evil. Yes. They've got a page on Resident Evil. Resident they Evil cover 2, everything. Resistance, Code Veronica. Even the little spinoffs and little tidbits, they have pasted paste yep. around the page. Whoever did that did a really good job at laying that out. Um Atashi said, I dare y'all to play it on hard difficulty on the first playthrough. You know what? We are. We're going to do we it. Are. Yeah. Itachi Uchiha, your Mangekyo Sharingan has nothing on my dick. <laughs> because we are playing it on the hardest difficulty available. And I promise you, as Anthony has already pointed out, my play style involves shooting him in the head and then running right by him. <laughs> Uh, and I uh, do want to tell tell them how we're gonna kind of break down our how we're playing me and you like between the two. Or we're gonna we're gonna be doing it in like a specific yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. So what we're gonna do essentially is we're gonna have uh, the stream set up. Um, Anthony is gonna play Claire. I'm gonna play Leon. Um, we're gonna probably start with Claire because I feel like most people are probably gonna start with Leon. So if you're, we'll probably just start with Claire. We'll play Claire for a little bit. We'll probably play Claire for about an hour or two, um, depending on how good it's going, depending on how much progress we're making, if we feel like we've made like a, a, a crucial stop. Uh, we'll stop there, pause the game, save it, pause the game. We're not even going to stop the stream. We're just going to pull an HDMI cord out, put it in my PS4, and Leon will pop up on the screen. We're going to play Leon for another two to three hours. We'll try to keep it even. We're going to beat the game all in one go or if we don't want to give tidbits like leon claire leon claire leon for the game to give each other a break we'll just take turns and we'll pass the controller around every hour and we'll beat claire first and then we'll get into leon afterwards it's going to be totally up to what you want to do i'm cool with either if you want them to if ever if you if everybody wants to see leon while we're playing claire we can switch and then switch back and switch back and forth um but for uploading purposes, uh, obviously you can always splice together then afterwards. Yes. If you wanted to just upload Claire or just upload Leon. Um, I was thinking about it a lot. I was kind of thinking that it would probably be a good idea to, to play them um, for the 24-hour stream to kind of just beat them and then pass the controller. Uh, what I don't want to do is I don't want us to be like so tired that one of us is asleep while the other one's playing. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, because I don't want um, I don't want either of us to miss everything. Um, no, no. Yeah. So we'll probably we're definitely gonna be playing Claire first. We'll work out kind of like the format. We're we're just yeah. we're, we're, we're gonna be doing it basically. We're gonna be showing both scenarios, regardless. Um, I like the idea yeah. of just kind of like playing it and just like passing the controller. Like we're just gonna do both scenarios. Yeah, together. Together, uh, just run yeah. them down, and then just like we just try to like give it like a timestamp, you know, yeah, we don't I even have to do every idea, death. Too. We'll just do like, you know, every so yeah. often we'll give it a switch. Be like, all right, Anthony's taking the controller. All right. John's taking the controller. You know, yeah. Juan says order a lot of pizza have... for the stream, like boxes, man. Cause it's going to get, it's going to get starving along the way. Oh yeah. We're going to order food. Uh, we're going to have, we're going to have a whole bunch. We're of already going to have like, before I leave for, for work that day, before that, I'm already like that night previously, the stream's going to be ready to go. Like, to the point where all I got to do is turn on the PC and pop in the disc on the PlayStation, um, and, like, we're ready to go. So, like, that that's the main thing. Also, we're going to be giving away a free copy of Resident Evil 2 Remake on the stream as well. So, if you guys want a copy of Resident Evil 2 for a PlayStation 4, I'm going to be giving away a copy. So, <laughs> the copy that we'll be playing. So, um, we're not just giving away a copy. You'll be the only one in the world with a copy of Resident Evil 2 Remake that has our signatures on it. Yep, we'll sign it right there for you. Because our, we'll, our signatures yeah. are worth a penny, but we'll sign worth it for a penny. We'll you. We'll say that you're the only one who has the Let's Talk Resident Evil 
in a box signatures. Absolutely. And we'll, and again, you'll be actually, this will be our first kind of giveaway. So we're going to kind of work it out in a certain way. I think I'll maybe post something before the stream so I can start drawing names or something like that. Uh, so again, you follow me on Twitter at let's talk underscore re right in the description below. We'll keep you guys kind of updated. 98 demon Z 28. What's going on, man? We actually are just about to head out of here. We're actually plugging our stream. We're going to be streaming Resident Evil two Thursday night. It's down. It's go it's going down. <laughs> It's funny. He said, flip a damn coin to see which story goes first. I said, hey, I have a Resident Evil 2 premium coin. You do. So whatever side. That. Yeah, we can. Um, uh, you can win it by following Let's Talk Resident Evil on Twitter. Yes. Um, by sub subscribing and leaving a comment to this video here. Um, we will look through the comments of this video here. Um, if for whatever reason you can't find any of his stuff to do it on, just uh, go to the Let's Talk Resident Evil Facebook page. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll have a post. He's going to make a post on there um, that of everybody in, on Facebook who wants to join in for the giveaway. We'll go through the names on there. Um, ideally, however, ideally, uh, we would prefer uh, – we're going to tweet out something. We would prefer you guys to tweet at that twit like because it's so much easier to get through and filter. Um if you could do that, yes. that'd be great. Um, if you don't, if, if you, you just... don't, if you don't have Twitter, I'll probably just do a video, honestly, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, you know yeah. what? I think that's probably better. Video. Just for people um, that don't have social media, like again, I understand. Um, yeah. You know, if, if there's a better way that you could do that. Also, another person uh, already just subscribed, as you said that. Um, Perfect. Let me yep. let me shout them out real quick. Actually, hang yeah. on. Yeah. So we'll just make a video. We'll show off the game, the cover. It'll be the actual disc we're using to the, for the 24 hour stream night. So you won't get it day one, unfortunately. Um, but we will sign it and we will show the actual thing. Yeah, it's going to be the copy that we're streaming on. So it's going to have a significant yeah. uh, Christian Rojas. Thank you so much for the uh, for the new subscribe. Uh, su subscribe. Thank you for the subscription. Um, and uh, yeah, I, honestly, guys, uh, I'll make a video kind of explaining the details uh, for it. So we'll have it. So it's like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll make a video and I'll just be like, leave a... Uh, you know, leave a comment down below telling me your favorite Resident Evil 2 experience or something like that. And you guys can leave a comment saying your experience, your, your favorite Resident Evil, playing your favorite experience during the original Resident Evil 2, not the remake. Yeah. Because at this point in the video will be out and remake isn't out yet. So I'll probably do something like that. So stay on the lookout yeah. for that. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. And then if you have Facebook, I'll probably do Facebook and Twitter just to like I'll be drawing people from from all angles. Um and I'll, I'll plug it on the podcast and stuff. But yeah, so we will be giving away a copy. We'll be streaming. Uh, me and John will be... This This also will kick off me and John's regular streams for 2019. Uh, again, we, ha we just like we mentioned before, we haven't forgotten, you know, Dino Crisis. We haven't forgotten all these other stuff that we've hinted at towards, you know, the years and that have just enjoyed, um, you know, kind of like... like uh, piecing together what we want to do for each like Sunday stream or each stream that we are going to do um, weekly or, or bi-weekly, whatever it may be. Um, but again, the Resident Evil 2 uh, just has started. So this is the only the beginning. And of course, you know, you guys are going to be along for the ride. So uh, thank you guys for joining the stream. Again, leave that comment, drop that like, subscribe, click the little bell so you know what's going on in the Let's Talk Resident Evil community. And uh, stay tuned for the giveaway, the stream. And uh, there's going to be a couple of stuff I'm putting out before Resident Evil 2. So this won't be the last you see of content for this week. There's got a collection update, another Resident Evil podcast for the final chapter commentary, which, you know, it'll just kind of be there for you guys to check out and enjoy. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, if you guys want to win a copy, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have the giveaway. So best of luck for everybody. And uh, you want to say anything before we head out of here, John? No, I left a comment in the video. Just uh, uh, File Friday was today. I released a demo video. It's all about the demo. It's all about the files. I'm just reading them. It's like one big whole file mosh pit where you can find them in the demo. If you haven't played the demo yet, it's available through the 31st. Um, check it out if you have time. If not, whatever. It's cool. Yeah, no, I uh, will be sure we're busy you guys. Yeah, make sure that everybody that's watching that, you know, really, really wants to see us play or really just wants to come hang out. Uh, you know, just part, be part of our here. experience. Yeah. Be part yeah, of our experience. Be part of our experience. Cause I, I understand everybody wants to experience th themselves. And, uh, I, I don't think that it'll take away from your experience, but if you guys like us, you like our opinions of resident evil. I mean, there are other resident evil channels out there, but we're, 
we're some of like I would say the purest. Like we just have our, this whole thing is about our love for the game. It's not about trying to make you know anything more of it than it is. It's just we love this franchise so much. And, yeah, uh, yeah, and we want to we want to go along for the ride. You know, see what go, yeah, what's if, next. Exactly. If you guys want to see our, if you want to join us for our first intakes, our first experiences, because there's going to be a first, bunch of streams yeah, that our, day, a lot of streams. Oh yeah, our first oh shit moments, dude. Watch us. Don't watch Markiplier. Don't watch. <laughs> yeah, you know, the don't, the mainstream watch, streamers. Yeah, that don't, don't know shit don't about watch. Resident Evil. They're not exactly. pure. They're not pure like we are. Exactly. You know, you want to watch JJ. You want to watch Where's Barry. That's fine. They both love the. They both love. Both love they're the Resident franchise. Evil fans. Yeah, they're yeah, Resident they Evil love fans. The franchise just like we do. But just remember, the only way the community grows is if you guys spend time with us and if we spend time with you. So that's what we want to do. Um, you know, I look forward to seeing all of you guys. I, I know Juan, you show up. I know Lance is going to be here. Yeah, we got the MVPs here. always that are um, always on. Richard, I'm sure Richard will be playing it while watching us. I'm just like, I'm sure, like, like if that's another thing, you guys don't have to pay attention either. If you just want to come in and listen to us talk. Yeah, yeah, we'll while, just be chatting. Playing. Um, I know one of my favorite things to do, uh, I know we're kind of dragging this out a little bit, but oh, that's one of fine. my favorite things to do with like, um, Dark Souls 3, um, there's some YouTubers like Vati Vidya and like, my favorite is, um, what the hell's his name? Wolf, not Wolf. Um, oh man, I forget his name right now and I feel so bad, but he was a, he's a really Dark Souls YouTuber who is friends with Miyazaki. They actually worked on the Bloodborne strategy guide as a, as oh, wow. an editor. Yeah, he's a YouTuber. He's not super, super big, um, but he's a really cool guy. I'm, his name's drawing a blank. One of my favorite things that I've ever done was when um, he uh, when he first played Dark Souls 3, I bought the game. His live stream, I actually played Dark Souls 3 alongside of him. Wow. To kind of like go through the game with, with him. him as he was live yeah. streaming. And it was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Because there was things that I would pick up that he wouldn't pick up, and I type in the chat like, "Hey, you missed this," or and there's things he'd find that I wouldn't find, and then I'd go back and grab them, and it was like one of the cool. Yeah, and it's all live, so like literally, yeah. you're if you're playing it on your own end, you yeah, can kind of jump like playing, along for the ride. It was yeah, it was like playing with a friend. And another thing you have to think about too, like if you guys are really really big Claire fans and you want to play Claire, play Clara while we're playing Leon. You get both stories at the same time yeah like it's it's something that's really really cool like it's it's gonna be awesome and i just hope you guys all join us because it's gonna be great <laughs> juan's like i will win that ps4 copy i do it he's determined <laughs> he's, he's determined. determined yeah we'll probably have some like raffle or something like that like that's probably gonna be the biggest thing but um hell yeah what i was thinking what i was thinking we'll do is we're gonna give it away to somebody who takes the time out to come watch so on the actual stream day if you leave a comment on the stream that's your entry yeah, let's do I that. Would just, I would just do that. Like, if you're here, you leave a comment on the stream. That's the entry. We'll put it in the description. And then After sometime the within that 24-hour period, we'll close it at the end of the it, stream, at the, yeah. the very end of the stream, like when we're fucking dead. Or like, yeah. all right, let's do this fucking raffle. So there you go, guys. Oh, we'll uh, Lance raffle. said I'm going to play with you guys just in my living room. Well, there you go. Yeah. There you go. So that day, comment on that stream leave a like and that's how you pretty much get into the uh, entry very simple very simple yep i think that's the easiest way to do it support the people who are coming out and supporting us support all the resident evil community and fan pages and everybody everyone's been doing a great job keeping the exactly. the hype alive and it's been such a great experience me and john have a lot of good stuff planned for this year just as content creators and uh thanks thank you thank you for loving the channel uh chris um it's like you know, it's a, it's just a good time. It's a good time for everybody. We've been waiting for this, and the fact that it's right here, it's pretty surreal. So, and 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 that you guys are along for the ride, it even makes it more surreal because I never would imagine. I'm like, I'm like shaking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're ready, man. We're ready. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank thank you guys for spending time with us. We're gonna call it a stream. Have a good night. Stay tuned for the rest of the content, and then obviously just stay on our social medias to know what's going on with us. So we'll be we'll see you at ten o'clock. Thursday night, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.